So I was trying to set up uh, multi-streaming with Twitch so I could stream on both platforms and it did not work at all. <laughs> I've never streamed on Twitch in my life. I don't know what I'm doing. So we're just going to do YouTube today, I guess. Super weird. I guess uh, Kugath put a plague on me. Minus 80% brain capacity. Start. Hey, eat my ass, stovepipe polar bear. I'll stop when I'm good and ready, young man. How about I start a fight with your dad? Beat the crap out of him. I've got some loot. Let's go with this. Ew. Okay, very. I can't tell if it's appropriate or inappropriate for for Coogs. All right. Warhammer 3, new DLC, or at least new patch. So we can't do the new stuff down here yet. Yet. Oh, chat's busted. There we go. But we can. Sigma's I thought. I've seen a lot. Of, okay. Here's the thing. Everybody's playing the new guys. Everybody's playing the Empire now. The, the, everybody's been playing the Geld campaign. Everybody's been doing the humans and the short humans that are grumpy and keep grudges and bucks. Books. But I thought nobody's repping the stink men. The stinky boys. The disgusting uh, children of Nergs. My boys. My favorite chaos faction. Show Tamarcan. You wish. You mean this guy? You mean this guy right here? You mean this guy? The one in the middle? This guy right here? This fella? Alright, we'll play him. In a couple of days. In like a week, we will play him. But for now, we'll play him the fat, the fat green man. 
because I don't want to get my channel messed up <laughs> in legal water. If anybody knows anything about host, uh, editing Twitch stuff, by the way, please let me know. Because uh, I was trying to co-stream this on Twitch, and that did not work at all. It just didn't. <laughs> it just didn't work. So I'm going to have to talk to somebody that knows what they're doing, maybe like Battle C or something. I'm going to have to get a, a real adult to babysit me and help me hold my hand through this. But today we're going to be playing this little cutie, Kugath, because he has had a massive list of changes, tweaks, and buffs to his campaign to make him a lot less shitty. Um, so I'm hoping we can still be shitty in classic Nurgle fashion, but to other factions. Is that a called cute monkey? Oh yeah, I realized I already have a Kugath monka. Monkey. So we're going with a nice Kugath one. See, they match. Also, I have a couple of these. Let's let, let me look through these real quick. So I have this one. Which was made... Oh, this one was for Festus. But it's close. And then we got this one. Oh, this one's really big. Is that a legend in the back? <laughs> this one. <laughs> He's got a Grease's body pillow. Um... This one's a little much. There's a little bit too much going on with this one, and it covers too much of the screen. So I thought we'd go with this guy. Keep it keep it clean, keep it fresh, keep it Kugath. Because everybody thinks fresh when they think of Kugath. And the goiter? Yeah, that one's clearly made for Festus. Uh, we're going to see a stinky plague ogre stack in the near future. Um, we're going to be seeing stinky uh, fellas. I'm thinking of maybe doing something that isn't just ogres, believe it or not. Because uh, <laughs> I might do too much ogres. Anyway. Oop, I almost started the campaign without changing the battle difficulty. All right. I think very hard hard is fine. I think 0% uh, AI stats is fine. We'll put it in ultimate crisis mode, even though we're definitely not going to get uh, to the amount of turns to deploy and we'll smack that difficulty down just a smidge just a, a little bit less of a smidge but yeah i haven't seen anybody playing coogs nice fat round coogs and that's kind of on its oh wait shit i, I missed a dono sackalon with a 20 pound dono pound dono Do dollar dono hello Corey, love your videos also nice thumbnail very good selfie from you wow that's really mean, and I'm way in better shape than this guy. Thank you. I have lost a lot of weight, actually, dude. You know what? Stream's over. I'm done. You know what? No, thank you for the dono, dude. <laughs> thank you for the dono. I'm sorry I missed that. I'm going to reset my fucking alert box real quick. So it reads them out, because that should have read them out. I'm going to reset the cache real quick. All right, we're good. Anyway, moving on. It's Nerg time. It's our boy, our green boy, our round son, the father of Nerglings, and the daddy of plagues, the big plague daddy himself. I want to see how much better he is. So his old campaign used to circle around Nerglings, and as far as I know, it's not like that anymore. It's been changed. So he actually reduces the upkeep of upkeep of Nerglings faction wide. I think. I, I glossed over a um, a video from Ya Boy, uh, Great Book of Grudges. Oh, that was gross. Um, I'm getting into the real new uh, Kugath spirit. God, this load times. Wait, have I still got my... Nope. I'm good. Love the monkey. Thank you. <laughs> That's my face. That's me. But okay, losing weight is bad. I'm trying to lose weight. I'm hovering around that overweight category, you know? Oh, here we go. We're still on the stinky islands. Unfortunately, but also fortunately. I personally don't mind his location that he starts in. I'm just not a big fan of... I don't know. Uh, I think it was his... The fact that you have to fight Gorse right out the gate. You gotta fight the Bone Man. The zombie, the, the dad of zombies. The dad of Nurgle fights the dad of zombies. So, ensure the spread of Nurgle corruption. Observe the organic cycles of Nurgle's building chains. Use plagues and other means to spread Nurgle's corruption, promoting growth within your provinces. First mission is probably kill this guy, I assume. 
Defeat an enemy in the blah, 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 blah. Yes, we will do this. But, oh, we start off with one of these guys. Uh, is he of Nurgle? He is of Nurgle. Of course he is. All right, let's name this dude, first of all. First and foremost, it's naming time. Stink boy. Stinky, stink boy. Stink boy. Matt, what do we call this guy? What's a good name for a plague ridden? Plague ridden. Hmm. How about 14th century peasant? When was the bubonic plague? When was the bu the bubonic plague? The 1300s to the 1900s. There was three waves. Damn, okay. Well, the 14th century fits into that category, so the joke still stands. Stink. Stink B. Fart eater. Ew. Pox sucker. These are the most disgusting suggestions. Poopy thrower. Discord mod. Maggot man. Let's give him a cute name. Come on, guys. Let's give him this. Gets, like, this, is a, this guy's a little cutie. Let's give him a cute name. Like. Ron. Or. Bill, Skralk, Pibby, Kakapito. Jesus Christ, guys. What, is, what the fuck are these suggestions? <laughs> Good lord. Snotty. Ooh, Snotty's cute. All right, he's called Snotty. That's cute. All right, so we got Snotty, Coogs. Let's look at this skill tree. So we got... The Nurgling Tide, as per usual, I want- wait, uh, recruitment cost minus 25% for all demonic units. Now, is that new? That's probably new. Unglo the Destroyer? Bob from HR. He's a man. Bob could be a woman's name. Has everybody met a man called Barbara? Or Barb? That'll call Nurgling Daddy? I mean, Kugath is the Nurgling Daddy. Casualty Replenishment Rate plus 10 for all demonic units. That I don't remember which of these is new. I'm going to be honest, I haven't played Kugath all that much. Minus 25% uh, upkeep for Nurgling units in all armies faction-wide. Passive ability regenerations for Nurglings above rank 7. Melee defense plus 5 for Nurgling units above rank 7. Amazing. I will be recruiting quite a few of them because I do love them. Uh, a bunch of growth. I mean, we're not going to be able to access from rank 12, so... Plus five growth seems a little underwhelming. Wait, growth per region plus five after winning a battle. Oh, oh, in all provinces. Never mind. Never mind. That's really good. That's super good. Guys, stop. Moist herpes three. All right, stop with the name suggestions now, please. I regret asking. <laughs> I don't want to read moist herpes three. That's not acceptable. Come on, we're trying to, we're trying to keep it fucking PG around here, guys. Jeez, all of my streams get demonetized. Let's be good boys. Daniel the Plague fella. Anyway, uh, minus 25, minus 15% up here for great unclean one units and passive ability slime trail for great unclean one units. Now, I don't know how, if we're actually going to be able to recruit any of these guys because great unclean ones are a very late game unit. Although, from what I understand, growth in this starter province is actually quite high. So, for example, you can get the Sea Dragon's Teeth, which gives you 60 growth at its final form, as well as a ton of money, and also 30 infections per turn, which is actually a lot. That's a lot. That's a good amount. You get about 37 max per battle if it's a big battle. Yu-Gi-Oh player, you're totally helping. <laughs> this is a family stream. Thank you. Yes, it is. You listen to them. Plague duration plus one turns in the local region. That's not very good. That's a little not great. Uh, maybe a military building would be good right out the gate. Like a Nurg building. Plague flesh poppies. This doesn't give us access to any new units. Which is kind of what I want. Because we're not allowed to recruit any new units anyway. Like these guys. We're not allowed to do that. So... Let's stick to this, the non-new stuff. Wait a second, I can't build an advanced military building. Ah, you can only build the advanced ones in settlements. All right, well, actually, we should get a hero and not one of these. Let's get some exalted heroes. Four turns, that's fine. 
and get our boy into our first fight. Uh, all right, so new research tree also. Much better research tree. It's it's actually kind of small, but it's simple. It's just military and faction. So you've got all of these long haul ones for long term campaigns. Gain fifty, gain plus fifty treasury each time a building cycle completes. Which when you own when you get this on turn forty four, I guess if you're pushing and you're spending all your plagues, that's a lot. Once you get start like getting a lot of territory stuff like that. I don't care. The resource buildings used to give fifteen percent income. The province and plus one hero recruitment capacity for each hero type. So Kugath start has lost six hero capacity and 30% income, which is lame. Oh, I guess. I think that the idea is that there's not as much of a a uh, emphasis on having to rely on heroes, and you should actually be able to push your growth high enough to get this province pretty high level pretty quickly. So Because a lot of these locations have wood, timber, and a unique timber building. If, can we make it pop up? No. But yeah, we can, Tim, basically we can uh, get our growth really, really high with that. So that's what I'm going to be banking on. Trying to get a really high growth system going and then recruit whatever we can. Yes, I too enjoy farting into my cupped hand and inhaling it. Alright, I'm going to end the stream here, guys. Thanks for watching. It's been a really, really shitty one. <laughs> it's been horrible. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that was horrible. Gregory flew. Anyway, let's get into this first battle. I actually haven't done a fight with Nurg. It's funny that disease spreading faction starts isolated on island. <laughs> that is a good point. Madison, Madison, thanks for resubbing, my boy. My favorite son. That is true. It's basically that, like, um... The island is basically Iceland, and we're playing that contamination game. Do you guys remember that game that everybody used to play? That browser video game where you would, like, it's like Contagion, and you would spread, like, a disease to, to the map, to the world, and, like, nobody could ever get island places like Iceland because of the cold weather. Plague Inc.? Yeah, do you guys remember Plague Inc.? <laughs> this is basically just Plague Inc. We're just, it's just Plague Inc. with a really big fat guy. <laughs> We should that sh wait, uh, remind me to rename the faction Plague Inc. That's perfect. Guys, please remind me to rename the faction Plague Inc. the second we are done in this. That's so good. I love that game. Yeah. I wanted to do a stream a long time ago where I just replay like tons of uh, video games from when I was a kid. Just a man. I know people have done that before, but I just the, the nostalgia that that would bring. I spent so much time in school as a kid just playing video games in the ICT classes and like whenever I could. I never, I don't think I ever did a single actual lesson or piece of work. All right. What's your first disease name? I feel like if ever, how many people played that Plague Inc? Played Plague Inc as a kid and then, oh, and will have, uh, if, if that happened now, it'd be like 99% COVID. Every single <laughs> disease would just be COVID. Alright, let's prep our infantry lines. Hopefully they'll come to us. Let's get frogs in the trees. I love plague toads. Look at these adorable little guys. They're so good! Plague Toads are underrated. I wanted to do a Dune Stack out of them so bad, but they just have such a bad, like, upgrade tree, you know? They're kind of underwhelming. Which is deeply disappointing, because I do like me some big fat toads. Frogs are friends. Frogs are friends, and sometimes food, if you're French. I'm getting in that Nurgle spirit. Every minute in Althwen. Every 60 seconds in Althwen, a minute passes. Zach Allen with a $10 dono. Hero name idea. That one Spanish politician who always... Who made the news for filming himself eating his own shit off the floor? What? 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 In the... 
Here on AIM IDEA, that one Spanish politician who made the news for filming himself eating his own as hashtag 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 off the floor. Hey, you should have just wrote shit. I don't care. Sh sh hashtag hashtag. Oh, crap. Our death's head guys are getting whacked. <laughs> Italy goes hard. That's funny as hell. Thank you for the donut, dude. Uh, also, my plankton voice is working again, which is awesome. Is it the time coming? Will we see more montage videos? Will there be a Red Alert 2 reference in the Thunder Barge vid? I... Maybe. So, it, I, I will be doing a, a 19 Thunder Barges video because I think it'll be extremely fun. Um, and just vapidly over the top, which is always great. Ooh, can we get a fat breath spell off? Nope. Googs, slam them with your shit. Two ninety nine value. That's it. What a baby. All right, dive in. Let's go. We got the high, actually no. We got the high ground. I don't know why. I'm not listening to my inner um Star Wars guy. What's his name? God damn, that sucks. Obi Wan. Jesus. I'm not listening to my inner you and McGregor. Get in there! Go, go. Yes. Come on. Alright, let's get Coogs in there. Get a nice breast spill going. Join your channel yeah. a year ago, after a breakup. Been going to the gym since then. Got way happier and have a new GF. Aw. Thanks for cheering me up. Aw. Tome. Zilla, my dude. I'm nice to hear... Uh, nice to hear that you're happy and healthy, my guy. I am getting there myself. We're in a good fucking house now, good setup. Thanks for remembering, dude. Oh, man. Wholesome. That's the first wholesome dono I think I've ever gotten. They're usually <laughs> involving some meme or shit. Man, how sweet. Oh, boy. Oh, our playground's getting his shit kicked in. Not good. Just give you a fat debuff there. And get him. Alright, here we go. Get in there. Beat his ass. Oh, I don't want the playground to die. Playgrids can actually get pretty goddamn strong in melee, and they provide like quite a consistent amount of debuffs. A decent list of debuffs. Okay, please rename the capital to Wuhan. Ooh, all right, you know what? That's fine. I probably couldn't get any, my social credit score probably couldn't get any lower. I'm not really losing anything. Except maybe my kidneys. I kind of regret not being able to do a Shadows of Change Doomstack just so I can play that Red Sky remix. I use in every single cafe <laughs> do stack video. Good old nergs. I miss the nerglings. I know that they're terrible, but look how adorable they are. Just some little guys. Do your little kickies. Come on, Coogs, do your kickies. Do the little kicky animation. Come on, get him. Get him? You're just gonna float again uh, after him ominously. I don't, th I don't think the Nurglings have any animations going on. Nope. <laughs> Alright. Just gliding. Just straight gliding. Amazing. Nurgles, come on. Are they bugged? Seems I just... Yeah, they're just not going. They're not... Oh, there they go! They're back at... Nope! <laughs> What's happening? God, Kug is not really good at chasing. He might be the worst chase lord I've ever seen. He's not doing a thing. Alright, you tried. You tried, big guy. 
Just straight drifting. Front drifting. Damn. Also, I don't know if they buff plague drones. I've always found them very underwhelming, but I've used them in PvP and now in this battle, and they've been a lot better. I don't know if they got a buff. I have not been paying attention to a lot of Nurgle sub units getting buffs, except for the plague toads. I know they got an, they got armor piercing and a bit of weapon strength, which was huge. Plague ink. Oh, yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Let's do that. Uh, always infections. Always, always infections. Very important. All right. Plague ink. Nice, nice. That's not even a. That's not even rude. It's not even a rude name. We're doing really good with the PG stuff today. I haven't even said the the fuck word much. When you go wizard stack when at Okoy, I've considered. I actually haven't looked at the. Uh, I haven't actually looked at them yet. The gold wizards. I haven't seen them. They're just, you know, I haven't seen them yet. They're, they look, I've, I've seen their, the little profile image and that's it. I actually haven't checked them out. So we could, are we allowed to check them out? Or is that something we can do? Have people been doing it on their streams? Cause I might just go into custom battle at some point and look at them. Cause I haven't seen them yet. So it'll be a, it'll be a new experience for all of us. For anybody that hasn't seen. Ooh, I think we can take an auto, right? 96, that's not great. But it's fine. Did we get any money for that fight? What happened to post-battle loot? I feel like I should have gotten a lot more than that. I must test my uh, I love that they get blessed by blight immediately. Just upkeep reduction out of the gate is so nice. This will infect. Uh, let's get. We want a beast and nurgle, a bunch of frogs, and probably more nurglings than plague bears, right? I require. No only I am a big fan of frogs. Alright, so we go for Dreadrock next, V-line around, and then we can go for Shattered Stone Bay at the end. Good. We are unifying the province. Also, oh wait, ah, oh, I forgot to do the exploit. Wait, let, oh wait, no, it's still turn one. Okay, I let me just see if this still works, guys. Watch. You go for a Plague Seeds, you cancel it, and you unlock Plagues! <laughs> works yes it still works and now plagues are unlocked <laughs> yes that's so good wait what did i just build i forgot oh yeah i want to get heroes <laughs> oh yeah so basically to unlock plagues you have to um earn 200 plagues but if you spend 200 plagues building a basic military building and then cancel it you get all your plagues back, and it completes the 200 plague proc, and you unlock plagues turn one. <laughs> I thought they might have patched it in the most recent patch, but they didn't. Nice. Rename to Wuhan Lab. I mean, like, all right, why not? This is where we. This is where we we started. This is where the plague started. And then, um, shit. Town, shitty shitsville. <laughs> Why does that fit almost? I don't know. I'm I'm gonna skip this one. <laughs> Shattered Stone Isle is fine. All right. I don't think we can do anything else. There's no way there's anybody even in the in the same zip code that's gonna be talking to us. No, no one likes us. Nerg stands alone. Oh shit! I missed the dono. It didn't read it out. Gaston with a 4.99 donut. Booba booba fart fart. <laughs> Bell, Bell ants is resto red. What? Thank you for the dono. Thank you for the dono, Gaston. I'm gonna reset my thing just so it reads them out. Stupid alert. Stupid monster TTS. All right. Oh, hold on. Um, guys. Uh, Warhorse Studios is about to release a new game on their on their YouTube. And oh my god, there's 16,000 people waiting for it. Holy shit. Warhorse, for anybody that doesn't know, are the guys that made um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. They're about to announce a new game. 
in four minutes. So I'm gonna check in on that in like a couple of minutes. Apparently, people are whispering that Kingdom Come Deliver Kingdom Come Deliverance Two is coming. And it's gonna be called Kingdom Come Delivery. And it's gonna be really, really fun, and Henry's gonna be very hungry. Ooh. Oh, that sucks. I always hated this little bit here that you can't replenish on your way there, because the second you go into the contested sea area, it takes away your movement. Is there any way that I can get... keep replenishing? Nope. Oh my god, it made me go back? Are you serious? Wow. Alright, that's fine. The legendary medieval FPS game so far. I don't know what it is about really good, like, fairly realistic medieval games like Kingdom Come Deliverance, like King's Come Delivery and, uh, and Manor Lords that are just, why are they always like an 11 out of 10? I don't know, you should rename your first cultist to Lonesome Dung Eater. That's actually, yeah, you know what? That's pretty good. Oops, Naughty got to level up. I'm gonna dump all this guy's crap into magic, so then when we finally unlock magic on Kuga... I don't know about you guys, but I always, always, always do the same thing with every lore that I get. Do you ever put stuff into their melee line? Like their yellow line? Is there is there any lore that you guys play where you actually bother putting anything to the yellow line until you've maxed out the blue line, the red line, and their unique line? I feel like no, right? I'm not the only one who, who beelines for the blue, then goes into the red, maybe, and then st the second they unlock it at rank 12, go into their... Right? Horn? Krokgar? Okay, people are just naming... The, the, all right, no, I do totally do that, dude. You're, you're stupid. It's just you? It is just me, then. All right, fair enough. Apparently, it's just me. Ooh, Gleaming Pendant. That's going to be a good infantry banner front line for that great 50 leadership that Nergs have. And we're going to have to play this in melee. Like, uh, actually play battle. Torox, the big bull that I have never seen. I never see him cry once in his life. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Meow Ying. Okay, you're just naming lords now. I should have said, do any of you go for the yellow line before any of the other lines? Or do you spread them out evenly? Like, I'm curious. That'd be a good, um, that'd be a good poll. Hold on. Let me start that as a poll. How do you assign le skill tree points? Do you blue then red, then unique, then yellow. I can't be bothered typing this all out. <laughs> I can't be bothered typing this all out. What's a better, what's a better, I'm colorblind? Oh fuck. Oh no. Now I'm embarrassed. Do you just have to read skill tips and not really get the concept of color coding then? When people say, says, say blue line, like, do you, are you just like, I don't, it's like that, which wire do I cut? You're just like, I, uh, I don't know. Adokoi, do you use melee line first? No. Nobody should or does. I refuse to believe anybody puts their character skills into the yellow tree. Six stream, dude. Ah, I see what you did there. At okay, I do blue, red, legendary large skill on uh on unlock yellow. Blue, red, legendary large skill, and then yellow. Yeah, exactly. That's I feel like everybody does it. Then you're wrong, most of us do. Apparently a lot of people start unlocking their characters like yellow line first, which I, I was just surprised about. Oh, don't you throw shit at me with your little skinks? Get them, my flying goblins.
Nice, nice. We're knocking him off the walls. Look at that. Yes, bugs, yes. Yes, so many of the room. <laughs> yes, dude. That must be a legit tech, knocking enemies off the wall with the bugs. Does that count as their kill? Doesn't look like it. It's like ledging an enemy in BG3, you don't get the loot. Go, 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 go. Bust it open. Ah, the classic gate bug. Gun it, gun it, gun it. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward while we're busting this down because this is gonna take three weeks. Oh my god, our damage is so not good. I know Kugath has 550 weapon strength, but it don't feel like it. Look at that one frog just chill. Oh, there's lots of frogs. Oh, the classic gate bug. They're just he's just waiting patiently with a snack. You know what? I'm keeping this on the frog cam. We're just gonna wait here and look at this nice frog. Adokoi, did you see that the new that the next PG3 patch will uh, PG3 patch will add more evil endings? No. Hmm. Maybe I should do another streamed character and do like an evil playthrough where I do like everything evil. We'll get there eventually. I haven't thought about playing BG3. I got kind of tired of doing Act 1 and 2 over and over again, you know? I'm kind of like, I can't do Act 1 anymore. I've, I have hundreds of hours in the game. I have like 700, 800 hours, and I've done Act 1 and 2. I wish there was like a randomized mode or a dun an endless dungeon mode or something, you know? I don't know, it's Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. It's Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? It is? But it's premiering in two minutes. There's 29,000 people watching it right now. Holy crap. Wow. Do you guys want to watch this? Or does, it, or does nobody care? Do you guys want to watch the uh, the new game reveal for Kingdom Come Deliverance 2? Like, watch party? Or should we just, like... Anybody actually care? I'm actually going to put it up to a vote. Watch the... The... King... Things come delivery to announcement or nah. Announcement or not. It'll take like one minute, I think. And then we can come back straight back to our coup campaign. God damn, that took a long time to bust through. Why does it take coup gas so long to bust? Ooh, get, come on, get in there. Guys, come on. Come on now. Right. Go, go, move, 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 move in, move in. Ooh, 67%. Jesus. Oh, come on, it's 18 seconds. All right, hold on, hold on. 18 seconds, Daug. Oh, 10 seconds. Oh, that's the, what the fuck? Oh my God, it's an endless thing. This is, this is the wrong screen. <laughs> why is it on this screen? I'm so confused. Wait, why is it capturing this monitor? What the hell? There we go. The fuck? It just created an endless loop. Oh, it's an they're announcing something. When it seems oh. you're out of luck. Good lord. Oh my god. There's just one man who gives There we go. Oh, <laughs> he just said the fuck word. It's gotta be CKD2, right? Oh, 
What is this for? This is the an announcement. It's a it's a new game reveal. A new, ga new game reveal for Warhol Studios, who made Kingdom Come Deliverance. Oh! This might be copyright. Copyright? It's been a while. But now we can finally show you. Oh, it is! Kingdom yeah. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. Oh, it is, yeah. Oh, shit! Let's go! TKD2. Guns? Was that a hand cannon? Yo, he had a hand cannon. Yo! What is this, man or lords? Oh, dude. I'm feeling a bit hungry. I'm feeling a bit hungry. Oh, it's, I feel quite hungry, yeah. I feel quite hungry. Wow, this is pretty. Oh, he looks different. He's, he has like hair now. Becoming more than a peasant. Yo. Oh. You know the trouble with an adventure. Crossbows too. I'm seeing crossbows. It can end before it gets started. Crossbows, dude. Mustaches! That guy. Congratulations tonight. You finally become a man. I feel like I'm just gonna end up going Bowman again. Wake up. Pull yourself together, Henry. Yes, crossbows, I knew it. That's dope. That's actually dope. Why does his hair look so different? We'll hand anything on a platter. To men like you and me. You still have a long way to go till your work is done. Sick. Damn. Exciting, dude. God. Be kind and protect us so we don't blow our arses off. Amen. Damn. Oh! Yo! Oh, wait. Oh, oh okay. I thought that was part of the game. I was Hello, like, I'm damn, welcome. dude. Those graphics. Whoa. We we're here to present the first in depth look at Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. An action RPG set in a realistic world of the late Middle Ages. We're in Krittenberg, a okay. gorgeous city at the heart Ooh, of Europe. That does look really nice. KCD2. So let's take you into the world of the game with the help of Warhorse, the creators of this medieval saga. Dude, it's dope. almost exactly 10 years since I was doing video like this. Uh, introducing oh, I remember this guy. Game. It's almost exactly six years since this game called Kingdom Come Deliverance. Medieval 3, finally. Delivered. I wish, dude. Oh, my so God. Now it's perfect opportunity to show you what we have been working on those six years. Nice, the perfect opportunity for us to show you Medieval 3. It just drops it. <laughs> They're developing the it now. city of Gutenberg, where majority of this game takes place. Now it's 250 people working very hard for years to bring you the ultimate medieval RPG adventure. Thank you, Daniel. Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 follows the adventures of Henry. Oh, can you... oh that's, that's Hans Capon. I just realized. On his village. Henry embarks on a quest of revenge against those who butchered his family. Would you guys watch if I did a Kingdom Come Deliverance stream? As a trusted squire like a stream series? Sir Hans, where I just played the game? Sent on a simple mission. But things I feel like it's one of those games that everybody's played and everybody would Kingdom like to Come see Deliverance somebody play it terribly. I've played it before though, so I wouldn't well, probably would be terrible. Way that it's perfect for newcomers to Henry's journey. Yeah. Henry is a character that if I you make it funny, <laughs> because he starts off as a kind of nobody and goes through life with all these immense challenges, and I, th I okay, feel like cool. everybody can relate to that. 
hands is all the kind of fun times and all the kind of ebullience and joy that Henry has in himself, but it takes a bit of accessing, and I think hands really helps him to do that. Whew. Dear dope. We're right about our stench. <laughs> Brookback Mountain. This water isn't too cold. You wouldn't want your pride and joy. Brookback Shire. <laughs> I'm more worried about it being too deep. Come on. What we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we were not able to do it because we didn't have enough resources and experience and all, awesome. all that stuff. We've proven that the concept works. It was now so exciting. We can take it to another level, which we always wanted. The game right. is much bigger in scope. They sh is this just like them talking about it? Guy. To punish it for. Uh. We want you to fight for your life. As far as. Looks like it's. It just looks like Kingdom Come, but like bigger and better and spicier and cooler and exciting, dude. We should definitely, definitely play that. I will definitely stream that. 100%. That would be a lot of fun. Ah, all right. Back to the Nergs. Dude, exciting. If you haven't played the first Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's very cheap now. I think you can buy it for almost nothing, and it's very fun. If you can get around the very, very um, medieval, the very historically accurate style of fighting, it's not very video gamey like you would expect from normal combat. It's so abusable, but very fun. The release date on Steam lists it as 2024. No way, really? Oh, it's up on Steam. I don't think it's up on Steam yet. Come on, Coogs. Is he better at ranged and melee or melee and melee? That made no sense. That was just a not nothing statement. Bomb them. Oh, throw the nerds. Yeah. Oh. Dude, he does a lot of damage, though. Hit him, Nergs. I mean, Coogs. Dude, look at the enemy stats on these Saurus. Just getting completely sapped. This is a very satisfying part about playing Nurgle. I don't know, with so many good medieval fantasy games available right now, if I can finally consider on selling Skyrim until it releases again. Dude, legitimately though, can we just stop and appreciate how many good medieval games are, and fantasy games are coming out lately? We've got uh, Manor Lords coming. We've got uh, fucking Enshrouded, Kingdom Come Deliverance 2. We've got, uh, I can't remember what it's like, Kingsfield? I can't remember what it's called. Like, No, it's not Kingsfield. Kings something. There's so many games coming this year. Okay, Elden Ring DLC, Blight Survival, Manolors, Kin Strife, Ghost of Tsushima, the Director's Cut is releasing on PC. Kingmakers is coming. Anvil Empires, Avowed, Pax Day, Renown, Bellright. Dude, so many medieval and fantasy games. Ah, oh, what a year. What a year to be a medieval and fantasy fan, seriously. DD2. Yeah, Dragon's Dogma 2 as well, and hopefully next year or the year after, Dragon's Dogma 2 uh, DLC. Speaking of Dragon's Dogma 2, I've, been, I've seriously been wanting to do a stream up of it, and I'm tempted to just overwrite my warrior and then just replay the game so I can access the DLC at a later date and just fully replay the game. Because I went through a lot of effort and whatever, but I've made my four warriors video now, so I might just wipe my, all my data and just fully reset and just do the thief playthrough of a little go uh, go the goblin stream series that I wanted to do. Like, I can always replay the game. It's just one of those, like, I really don't want to reset all my crap because I worked really hard to, like, do a full campaign. You know what I mean? I wish you could start a new game. I truly do. TA is asleep at the wheel. What? What do you mean? They're doing a good job now. The, the, the main issue currently is that they're getting gutted by Sega. They just had um, another 250 employees slashed out of their main studio. You know, not just their main studio. It's 250 com uh, employees combined from Sophia, the main studio, and a bunch of other, you know, sections of, of Sega. 
Meanwhile, Sega, Sega doesn't want to do Medieval 3. I know, I don't understand. It, it's it's kind of wild that they didn't prioritize making Medieval 3 at an earlier date. The only thing that I can think is they wanted to do a true sequel, and they were worried about it having the same engine issues, so they focused on uh, Warhammer because it's this, it, it's it has to be in the same engine for the, them to complete game one, two, and three. So ideally, it, you know, they're bringing out a new engine, but we'll never know until until they drop it. CA is cooking right now. I feel like this is the best DLC that, like the, the work that they're doing is looking, like from all the stuff that they've uploaded so far, all the information that we're getting from all of the, uh, you know, like like just this in total, it at least beats the DLCs that have been happening so far, right? Please, Total War Hammer 40K, please. I'm not even a big fan of 40K and I still want that. Because it has, it'll have Ogren, and I can remake for, for Ogren, but in Warhammer, and it would be <laughs> what a callback that would be. Just make for Ogren, but and just have it. It could just be references to the fucking Dark Tide video. <laughs> uh, 19 Ogren would be a lot of fun in 40k, though. I know there's gonna be all these crazy units like Astartes and. Uh, the Stardis nuts and uh, whatever like all, all these crazy space marines chaos space marines Pink space marines noise marines and all the other whatever. I don't know. I'm not I'm not orcs orcs We can actually daka Bane blades Ogren Kriegsguard Kriegs now Kriegs something Kriegs Kriegs. I can't remember what they're called I mostly know for why I'm a fantasy. I'm not a, I'm not a super knowledgeable in 40k. Adam Cole might want to speed up the battle. Actually, you know what? It's, <laughs> it's, uh, it's Nur uh, Nurgle, dude. This is every battle. Every battle might as well be played on fast forward because it's going to take a long time either way. That being said, uh, that isn't the case with Tamarkan. That's all I will say. Obviously, I, you know, considering he's got all human units, you think that'd be the case anyway, but... He's a fast boy. Death Corpse of Krieg. Yeah, that's it. Krieg's God. What is Krieg's God? A decisive victory, of course. As if Coogs could ever not. Damn, 112 again? Okay, the fact that Chaos Furies of Nurgle are almost outperforming Plague Drones is not a good sign. And also the Frogs have done well. God, I love how good the Frogs are now. I want Space Skaven, Sag. Yeah, that's the real issue for me. Is that 40k isn't just Warhammer Fantasy, but sci-fi. Some of it is, like... Like, the orcs are just the green skins, but fantasy... Uh, but, uh, sci-fi, right? The Imperial God is just the Empire, but fantasy. But, like, the, the closest thing to ogres... Or Skaven... Is, I guess, Rattlings for Imperial God for Skaven. Or... And for ogres, it'd be ogren, you know? Tyranids would be an interesting faction to play in 40k. Just swarms. It's Big fat swarms of bugs. Oh, let's get those maximum nerd recruitment. Oh, maximum amount of nerds. Uh, what else? We do, do I want to get a play going? No, you know what? I'm gonna save that because once Dreadrock reaches rank two, I'm gonna immediately build an advanced military building. I think. Although, what can we get with Coogs for an advanced military? Uh, can't recruit any of this. Can't recruit these guys. Can't recruit. Okay, we should definitely build one of these because we can get great unclean ones. Soul Grinders, and not these beautiful boys. Um, you get a Soul Grinder at rank 4, tier 4. And that shouldn't be too hard. With, with this building that's increasing growth by as much as it is, and then we can use our Plague to give ourselves 50 growth. Actually, this is advanced, so I'm going to slap that on right now. No, wait, then I'm going to lose all my Plagues. And I need 400 for the advanced military building. Alright, we're going to save it. I'll wait until I have like 800 plagues to do that. Or 600. Right. Tyranids 100% horde faction. Don't they have like a, a Tyranid giant Tyranid guy with like a gun in his chest? 
It's got like a chest mounted cannon or something. I'm pretty sure that's a thing. I don't know, honestly, Skaven Technologies is kind of like Orc technology, just greener and also makes no sense. <laughs> True. There is definitely parallels for 40k. I feel like either Imperial Guard would end up being my favorite because they have Basilisk tanks, which are just amazing. Obviously, Bane Blades are pretty cool. I prefer Basilisk tanks, though. It's got that World War II military drip, you know? Should we get some Plague Bearers? They're one, they're a, they're a goddamn K each. I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna hold off for a minute, just bank money, because we're gonna need, I'm gonna need a lot of money to upgrade my capital. In five turns? Excuse me? Why is that so, that's so much time? All right, plus 50 growth. Recruitment health for all units. Ooh, recruitment health. That sounds great, actually. Uh, effects. Nice. All right, how many turns now? Three turns. There you go. We knocked two turns off. So we'll get that. And then I'll recruit one of these because of the 10% increased health. I love Kugas voice, dude. They really went as creepy as possible with it. Same with Festus. He's like Scottish. They just I was worried they were just gonna sound like all like all the Chaos the Gully characters were gonna sound the same. And they made they did such a good job of making them all very distinct. Corn sounds exactly as you would expect. Nurgle sounds disgusting and they have like weird strange accents and then Siege is like the chicken fetus guy the screechy chicken fetus man who I love chicken fetus boy beats out um god damn what's his name I require What's the, the what's the Twitch guy Twitch? <laughs> so what's the Siege guy's name? I've completely forgotten his name. Kairos. Jesus Christ. I love Kairos. Yeah, Ch Ch Chicken Man is cool, but why would you play chick? Why would you play giant Chicken Man when you could play tiny Fetus Man on a little flying surfboard disc who screeches? And, and you can have one with a beak, and they look very funny. Village? No. I love how Coogs leaves fart juice on the world map as he moves. God, that's so... hot. <laughs> that's so disgusting, though, for real. Ooh, 5% movement range. Don't mind if I get that. Oh! Oh! Oh, it's all the heroes. Oh! Uh, leadership aura size 40%, bonus for slash 12, or vehicle loss reduction 30, uh, 25%. Ooh. Guys, what do you think? Dark Fury or Unholy Strike? I'm leaning towards Unholy Strike because 12 bonus versus large uh, is 12. That's 12 melee attack and melee defense, which is a lot. Uh. Thirty-five charge bonus is also a lot, though. Unholy. Diabolical Splendor is just 40% leadership aura size. That's not good. You'd say the leadership aura size? Really? We're basically just going to be blobbing. I'm just going to listen to my brain and my gut. In, in classic Nurgle faction, I'm going to listen to my gut. Fometer? What's a fomenter? Unusually subtle for one so foul. This one is skilled in spreading Nurgle's insanity. Unsan insanitary ways did they can combine it insane and unsanitary or is that an actual word nurgle's insane insanitary ways and words across the line all right so five percent can't be more just the five percent camp wait and i'll be basically cannot be increased by more than 50 percent is this 
Does this affect the uh, just the hero, or does this affect the the army? I've always wondered that, and I've always assumed that it doesn't affect the army, and it only affects the hero. Just the hero. Yeah, that's what I. That's kind of what I figured. Ooh, minus fifty twenty five percent recruitment cost for war beast units, and recruitment rank plus three for war beast units. Or like the character. Oh, characters or leadership effects is also good. Damn it. Oh wait, no, what am I talking about? Enemy leadership minus four to enemy armies in local province. Obviously that, Jesus Christ. That's really, really, really good. All right, um, what do we call this guy? Redditor? Red the Redditor? I am a Redditor, I would know. This guy looks like, hmm. What do you guys think when you, when you look at this guy? What comes to mind? Nurgle mains? Wrong choice, Okoy? What do you mean wrong choice? It's all subjective. Ne minus four leadership to all enemy units in the local province is an exceptionally strong uh, ability. Aspen Gold. League of Legends player? Dad? <laughs> Jesus Christ, take your dad to the hospital. Damn. Anime. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Oops. I accidentally saved him. No! Alright. And then this guy. Mo Moxia Blood Eater is a weird name, so we're gonna go with. Sex Haver, because I think it's funny. God, this guy fucks. He looks so cool. I love the Nurgle Exalted Heroes. The helmet's not that cool, but the rest of it is so... The, the fucking poleaxe, the spikes, and the fur cape. Oh, It's drip that you wouldn't expect out of the, the lands of Nurg. Uh, I don't know what's a pull. I feel like I want to keep Nurglings over Plague Bearers, but I know Plague Bearers are worth a lot, but... Hmm... I tell you what, I'm gonna fold them into this guy. Why do I? I don't know how I always fuck that up. All right, I'm getting rid of this guy to make room for my heroes. And I'm only keeping this one because he got the increased HP, and then we'll go and attack these guys after. They're taking attrition. Oh, they caught a Nerg plague. Dope. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. All right. All right. Got anime enjoyers, sex haver, snotty. My contagion. Wait till he removes the armor. Ew. Yeah, I wonder what he looks like under there. I guess he would just look like a cultist, but really buff, right? Do you know when the DLC is dropping? Uh, the release date is like, it says on Steam, right? Like the 30th or next month or something? I don't know. Go, 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 go. No, you! Oh, okay. I thought he was gonna, <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Nothing like a good misclick to really fuck you. Uh, I just can't reach, I think. Yep. Uh, well, we're fully replenished, so maybe we can bait them into a fight. Ambush stance. Sit on our stinky 80% ambush chance? Hell yeah. Maybe we might actually get that. All right, I'm going to delete this too, because that, to increase the cap for this. Oh, we could increase the cap. I feel like I'd prefer to have a growth or an income building, to be honest. Oh, we need 25 hundo for that too. All right, we need money now. We need money now. Oh, I really am not looking forward to fighting this guy. All right, SpongeBob. Here we go, Sneaky. What's that bubbling? Oh, my tongue is rumbling. The walls providing heroes is nutty. Yeah, it's really cool. I actually really like that. Wait, does Zoko sound like he's talking to us through a short metal tube? Oh, 
Is that better? Or does that sound weird? Better or worse? My, uh, my room is not padded. That's sexy. <laughs> no ASMR, please. Empty room echo. Yeah, okay, so... This, this room's just kind of really big. I'm in my new office. It's not really big. It's just, there's not a lot of stuff in here, so it sounds empty. <laughs> it sounds huge because there's nothing in here. I have, like, a desk and uh, some stuff on the walls and, like, a cabinet. I'll, I'm going to get a bunch of uh, autist, autistic um, sound insulation. You know the spiky wall foam? Uh, acoustic f uh, autistic foam. Autistic foam. Something. Something like that. I forget. I'm gonna get a bunch of autistic foam for the walls, and then it'll sound better. But in the meantime, uh, my sound quality is not great. It's a little echoey. Okay, bought a mansion. Yeah, dude, absolutely not. I don't understand uh, buying mansions. I really don't. I like. I feel like if I had a ton of money, I'd rather buy a reasonable sized house that I can more than afford, where I have the perfect amount of space and be able to like keep it clean easily without having to hire shit tons of people. I don't I don't get why people buy giant mansions where you could have literally like a commune of a hundred people living there. For the flex, that's crazy. I, I don't care about flexing. I want to live comfortably. Easy auto. Give me your house. Nice. Great games. Enemy killed in battle. Promise secured. Action destroyed. Nice. Alright, we got any quests? If you know we belong to Tepok Spawn, we've already done that. Nice. We can, we have another enough to do another plague, which is also cool. Ooh, 4K. Now we need more growth right now, so I'm gonna focus on. Although money would be good. 195 growth. Hell yes. Crazy, but did you not make an 18 Codals bid? Codals. Am I crazy, or did you not make it? Oh, no, I didn't. I haven't, I never made a Coatl Doomstack. I was going to make a Tic-Tac-Toe Coatl Doomstack, but then I remembered that I, the Tic-Tac-Toe is boring. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He, he actually got a lot of reworks when Immortal Empires released to make his, uh, to really... You can get a Coatl Doomstack kind of disgustingly easy, and it's not even expensive. Don't clean your house, Okoy. Yeah, you know what? That's... If I was cleaning my house, I wouldn't be in the true Nurgle spirit, and you're right about that. Thank you for the dono, by the way, Joe. All right. Uh, why do I keep opening diplomacy? We nobody wants anything to do with us. We're too disgusting. Uh, recruitment cost might be good. Everything's so expensive. No, I need to. You know what? I need to start doing army buffs because you've already achieved the upkeep reduction. I do want re. I want the. I want renowned and feared pestilence spawning to lightning strike. Yeah, the rest is just nothing. Money would be good, but I need to stop buffing units too. So we're gonna do both. Recruitment costs. Yes. This All right, I sex see. hammer. Oh, tra training is so good now. 10% going up to 30% is great. Actually worth having. Who would have thought? Uh, increased mobility, infernal champion. These uh, cultists take a long time to get Gate of Nurgle. Rank available, rank 13, and you get the ability to spawn a unit of Plague Bearers. Whoopee. I feel like that should be a lower level unlock, and it used to be, but they raised the cap or something, because it feels weird. Stream. Stream of Corruption sounds like... One of, it sounds like this exact stream right now. I should have called this the Stream of Corruption. That would have been perfect. That would have been a perfect name. Uh, growth, 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 and more growth. Growth, stack growth. All the growth. We should be at, like... Blade's father, Nasty Daddy Greenheart Shushing Face. <laughs> the way it read that! Greenheart Shushing Face. Alright, that was... <laughs> Oh man, you you didn't even type plague right. That's so good. Thank Lucas with a 100 ARS. 
What's ARS? I've never heard of that currency. Thank you, my dude. Thank you for the dono. <laughs> the way it read that out, dude. That was awesome. All right, it's Siegfried Regek. All right, okay, this is what I'm scared of. I don't want to fight this guy. Wait, how? Okay, he owns Nobly Gorge already, which, by the way, there isn't a cuter name for a town in the entire game. Name one area in the whole map with a better name. Nobly Gorge. Okay, Gorge is a little weird. We should rename this to Meat Canyon. <laughs> That'd be a perfect name. That would be such a good reference if they named uh, an area like that in the Ogre Lands. Just, just to reference Meat Canyon. It fit perfectly. Pig Botter? That's not cute. Pig Botter's weird. Gorge on some Nobly? Alright, you ruined it. You actually ruined that. Poo Fountain. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. Get, get back in the... You Nurglings get back under my, my throne and carry it, okay? <laughs> you get right back under Kugat's throne. Oh, I, okay, I keep getting this, that pop-up. I'm so not used to playing Nurgle that I get this, like, Settlement Receives Plague, and I'm like, ah, oh, great. And I'm like, oh, actually, no, great, because that's a good thing. <laughs> I'm playing Nurgle. I want those. I want that. That's a good thing. The more that spreads, the more growth we get, and the, every time it spreads, it keeps continuing it. Wait, duration one turn, duration three turns. Yeah, so it spread it here, then it spread it back for three turns, which is amazing. Uh, spread control could be good, but I'm gonna stop buffing this guy because we're gonna need sex haver to beat down He's gonna run out and beat down um, uh, Oh my god, what's his name? I am so bad with names. It's actually criminal My brain just goes blank. I do I have like early onset um, Poo brain That's a really mean <laughs> Reductive way to say, um, uh, like dementia. You know what I mean. Ghost, uh, gorse. My contagion. Gorsh. Okay, gribble my nobler knob until I nust. <laughs> until I nust. Shut up, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go into the military tree and stop buffing them Nurgs. Where's the Nurg buffs? They're down here on the right. There it is. Children of Nuggle and highly infectious. They've got a winning smile and an infectious attitude. So we'll get uh, speed, 10%, recruit rank, uh, infantry mass, uh, expert charge defense for our Nurgs. We'll get leadership and physical resistance for our Nurgs. And then... Wait, tell me from... Oh, the ability to summon... Ooh, you know what? That might be a good thing to push down. Because we can get some Forsaken and stuff, too. We definitely have less buffs for Nurglings, so they're never going to be as strong as they used to be. In, uh, in my video that I made for them, you could get so many Nurgling buffs that it actually made them fairly competitive. I, got, I think I got into, like, 40 melee defense or something with the old tree. All right, um, wait, why is my replenishment so low? Did I really get this damage from the last fight and didn't replenish it all? What about, I, oh, that's enough. That's, that's more than enough. All right, let's get ready to take scrap towers. Oh, there's the, there he is. Ooh, okay, black coach is going to be a problem. Uh, unholy lodestone. That's also going to be a problem. Uh, Cryptors got a buff, and they're actually quite good now in Warhammer 3. Uh, Monstrous Infantry with Regen, not great damage. They've definitely got pretty bad weapon strength, but decent attack, and they apply poison. Cryptors are under uh, are under underrated. Oh man, he's got Martin Grigorovich as well. Okay, the only saving grace here is that Gorst has not great stats. But he do have the Libra Noctis and Invocation of the Heck, so he can keep healing himself. And he gets Unholy Lodestone. And he's a... Oh, I hate him, dude. He's so difficult to kill. 
Nurgle are the exact faction you don't want to be fighting him with. Can I maybe plague him? No, I'm saving plagues. And we're getting a passive income of plagues, which is really nice. Alright, Gore, this is going to be rough. This is going to be rough. I don't like fighting uh, Helmut's mayonnaise in this campaign because he's uh, a pain. I'm gonna listen to my stream back for a second, guys. I'm getting a bunch of people telling me that the the, the mic quality is very echoey. I'm gonna listen to my stream back for a second. I sound fine. You guys are nuts. You guys are crazy. I sound fine. It'll sound better when I get my autistic phone. Don't worry. My mic quality. I'll come on a stream one day and I'll talk, and you'll be like, "Whoa, is this guy? Is this guy work for Sennheiser? Because damn." Is this guy doing ASMR now? Because, whoa. Your mic quality is very okoy. Alright, dude. That's... I could... See, that's on me to take that as a compliment or not a compliment. Because <laughs> that could be either. This is such good growth. We only need... How many growth points for this? It will not tell me. It will not tell me. We'll find out. 4,500. That's, we're, you know what? We're earning a good amount. I might uh, skip one more turn. All right, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to quick save and risk it. Screw it. Suck my balls, Hellman Mayonnaise. Hellman's, Hellman Gorse, more like old bitch. More like decrepit stink man. All right, I might go money. What do you guys think? Money or nergs? I think we're good for the amount of units that we actually have. We've got a, we managed to get a full banner, so if, unless we lose horribly, which is very possible, I'm just going to keep pumping our economy. Because currently, this is going very well. This is going very well. Uh, wait, he starts off with hate storms automatically ticked? I feel like you used to have to buy that. I wonder if that's new. I don't know. I think it's so cool that you like to keep your webcam on in, in every stream. Streamers really like to show their faces, but you do not shy away. You're looking very green today, by the way. Oh, thank you very much, dude. Um, yeah, I've been trying a new skin routine. I feel like I look nice and healthy. <laughs> uh. I should get um, something, some kind of program that makes the little, the, the little model in the bottom left like bounce up and down while I'm talking. You know, that probably wouldn't be too expensive or too difficult to get uh, implemented. Ooh, casualty replenishment rate thirty percent for this lord. That's nice. Means I can throw Coog into the Coog blender. Um. Just keep stacking them spales. Alright, I think we're gonna get attacked on both sides here because Gorst's the AI always seem to have infinite amounts of movement range. And it looks like he moved probably over here, which means he's gonna sprint with the speed of a thousand suns, and then this guy's gonna attack me, and I'm gonna have to fight a double fight. And I'm deplenished, so we'll see how this goes. This could be really bad. Okay, VTuber Arc? To be honest, I'm in my new house. Like, I'm finally set up. If if um if the channel is doing well enough, I'll probably invest in the whole uh, webcam thing. I was just gonna do that at like 200k anyway. You know, I'm like 5k away. If we get there, I'll probably just be doing normal webcam stuff. I might paint myself green for streams like this though. 23k and 20 Sylvania Crossman Doomstack win. Okay, he's rich as fuck. Stop saying that! I probably could earn a lot off the channel if I, like, committed to earning money, but I prefer to make videos that I enjoy making and that hopefully people enjoy. Which I think seems to be... Go like, come across well, you know what I mean? Because I've had quite a lot of success dipping into games and making videos on videos that my channel doesn't normally make them on. Like, if that makes any sense. Like, I pivoted from Total War, started doing Elden Ring stuff, and it just worked out. Which is dope. 
and I'm super happy for that. I think it's because I focus on making content that I want to make and not what makes the most money, you know? I'd like to be rich. I just want to <laughs> I just want to get there without compromising my integrity or making stuff that I don't want to make, you know what I mean? I'm legit just happy that I that this is my job. That's uh, just a dream come true, you know? You're a funny little pox guy. <laughs> Way to bring me back down, dude. Thank you. We watch you, not the games, Okoy. Ah, oh, you don't know how happy it makes me. To, uh, it makes me to hear that. Legit. I don't call you Mr. Dono. Oh crap, I did. Yeah, it even read it out, and I just totally blanked it. Oh, that's why. Because it's it's fucking hey, Jan Pitak, bitch. With oh no no, it's a different person. But twenty tree. I shouldn't. All right, thank you for the Dono. <laughs> Do you motherfucker? This is the guy, by the way, who asked for like I think eight months for me to make twenty peasants, and then and then has been asking for like a year and a half now for me to make twenty Trican or twenty Sylvanian crossbowmen, and both ideas suck. I hate them, and he's so consistent, and I appreciate that, and I appreciate him, but God, those are terrible ideas, and I won't make them, especially Sylvanian crossbowmen. They're they're they they might be one if not the worst idea for Doomstack, because you can't buff them. So it would just be 19 Empire Crossbowmen, but in the Vampire Counts, the strongest unit by far would be um, the Lord that I have leading the army, like Vlad or whatever. Okay, when are you dropping the, the OF? Oh, OnlyFans? Nope. <laughs> I'll make an Ogre fans. How about that? I've said this before. I'll I would make a... A goofy, goofy goober. He's still doing it. What I what, what happened? Oh, oh, the fucking right. Man, okay, this is a lot of stuff to chew through. I think it's mostly zombies. Wait, why is there nineteen hundred units in the garrison? Did they like recruit a massive garrison? I didn't even check. Ogren fans? <laughs> I bet there is people on there that are basically just Ogren. You know what I mean? There are people that are into like the heft, the heftier side. There, there's a market for Ogres. I stand by that. Alright, I'm just gonna bundle all my heroes together so I can get like a little bit of a group going. They have no range, so I think I can just confidently send my the death heads out to like sort of snipe they attack did i attack them or they attack me i attack them so, oh they're probably just gonna sit there like nurglings they're gonna sit there like nur uh like nurgle and tank actually they have superior okay they're just gonna wait for their ally no they're not gonna wait for their allies because i'm attacking them and their, their allies are on the field Ooh, is this an ogre map Wait a minute, has this got Vampire Count's Fog on it, but it's like an Ogre Kingdoms map? Because this is like a Mountain of Morn area, but then it's got like Vampire Count style foam, uh, foam, uh, fog. Huh. I can't tell if this is like Vampire Count's theming. Do they, does this happen to most maps where you're fighting Vampire Counts? I've never noticed that before. Okay, what's your thoughts on plague ogres? I know you love ogres, but these ones are uh oh stinky. So interested to see your take. Um, they look awesome from the promotion from the publicly available promotional material on the new Thrones of Decay DLC. Uh, <laughs> they look cool. That's all I can say. NDAs being what they are. Does an Okoy like Stinky? Dude, Nurgle is my favorite Chaos God. Easily. Easily. And they're a lot more fun to play now, which is really nice. Because when Warhammer 3 released and we got Realms of Chaos, dealing... Trying to play Realms of Chaos with Warhammer launch Nurgle was a nightmare. I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't like their build system. I still am not a huge fan of the way that our units are built out, but it feels a lot better now. Look at the tiny horse! Look at his little horse! I never noticed! He's got a little baby horse! 
That's, that's so cute. What? I never noticed that before. I mean, it makes sense. He's like tiny. Wait, how big is the... F how big is the exalted hero of Nurgle? Like, holy crap. God, this, this horse looks so dope. I've been really enjoying that, by the way, in uh, in the, in this... Ah, oh, God, I can't talk about it yet. Damn it. Human... It, okay, it looks like Tamarkin's gonna have a lot of human units based on the promotional material publicly available. Which is very cool, because most Nurgle... Most of the time with Nurgle, you're just pretty much recruiting nothing but Nurgle demon units. Six foot versus 5'11". Yeah. Yeah. Oh! Okay, where is the... There he is. Alright. Beeline, beeline, beeline. Beeline for him. Go, 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 go. And just dump straight in. Get nerves up on the line. Casters on the flanks. Have plague bearers just run in as fast as possible. God, they're so slow. Get our flying units over and nuke him out. Get Kugath in there. Debuff this guy. Get these guys on him. On him. Nuke him out. Nuke him out. Come on. Come on. Get on your horsey. Knock him over. All right. Good. <laughs> All right. We want to get him blobbed up so we can use our spells. Also, we're better blobbed because of our poison and everything. So... Nice little breath attack. A professional shit and fard. Oh, you know what? That would be really clean. Can I get him onto that mound here? And then just shoot right here. Can you do that? You're high up enough. Come on. It's a slam dunk. What was that? He just faked it out. Oh, you're hitting your own dudes. No, thanks. Oh, all right. Overcast. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Beast and Nurgle. No, 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 no. Get out of there. All right, and Nurgs are breaking on this flank a little bit. Let's get Coogs. It's a melee, maybe. Get that breath attack down. Oh. All right, you know what? Let's just break these ones out. Nice. Get in there. What? On July 3rd, it will be three years since we can do that. Really? God damn. You've been asking for that for such a long time. I don't quite. How do you hide? How did you hide the UI? You press K. K on your keyboard. K for keyboard. For kill the key. K for kill. Or whatever. Wait, why are my nerves breaking? Get out of there. Get out of there. I'm going to heal him up. Don't break. Come on. Come on, boys. Chill. Alright. Bop him. Bop him. Alright. Uh, and let's get another breath attack. Ooh, right there. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh. Nice. Get another one going the other way now. Oh, he's doing his kickies. Yeah, yeah. All right, he's better in going for ranged here. All right, let's focus on breaking him. Let's hit him with a morale shock from behind that just starts to crumble him. And we'll just bully this guy. Bully this man. They're going to break pretty soon, though. That's too much. Too much shit and fard. And they're Uria. Die. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Beautiful. Dude, <laughs> Kugat spiking Nurglings into an enemy two feet in front of him is just endless. It's endlessly entertaining. Oh, he's crumbling. Yep, they're dead. They're done. You're done. Goodbye. Oh, no, apparently not. I thought they were full crumbling. Beat him. All right, we've killed the leader. They should crumble. Then just get one more nice breath attack downwind. 
like this. The stink. What kind of value we got? He's finding zombies, so probably not a lot. Oh my god. What is happening? Do I have to pin it? Why is it happening? What? I hate that bug. There we go. 829. 1493. God. Nothing stops the Cougs. Okay, I remember that the plague drones are amazing at flanking shots. Uh, won me a lot of battles against vampires. I guess. I mean, anything flying against the vampires is risky because they can bring a good amount of flying units, but uh, it really depends. Ooh, I want my rogues to survive. Alright, rush, 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 go, 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 go. Yes, the stink tide. Go, 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 go. Beautiful. Mass diarrhea. Dude, they, they, can't, they can't do anything to, like, in single entities when you got nothing but weak infantry spam. Very satisfying. Oh, wait, they're bringing more stuff in. God, Black Knight's not doing anything. What's going on with the enemy AI? AI they're just kind of chilling. This feels like a failing on the AI's part. They're just kind of, kind of staying here. I don't know. I think of your Nurglings video with them going, fuck, uh, fuck yeah, when he throws them every time. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> you mean hell fucking yeah? Hell fucking yeah. Yeah, I was really happy with how the, the 19 Nurgling video turned out. It's one of those videos that I uploaded and I was pretty proud of. Ah oh, yes, top tier strategy game. Sometimes, hey, you know what? I've seen a lot, like a lot of bugs in a lot of strategy games, and this one is massive. I feel like the battle AI, although complicated, you shouldn't have it have stuff like this happening though. You know, with guys just kind of stood here chilling. Maybe it's a tactic, you know? Maybe they're waiting me out. But it feels like it's just kind of bugged. Lord dead, good binding. Ugh. It shouldn't take too much to route those guys. Alright, I'm just gonna frog overload them. Actually, no, wait. I'm just gonna bomb them with Kugath and fast forward it. Because then they'll crumble. Here we go, crumbling. Uh, one more. And let's move. Have him shoot these guys. Maybe that'll turn them on. Not what I meant to say. Not in that context. That was weird. I meant like turn on their AI. Is Kugath now better on melee? He's always been insane. Oh, there we go. He's always been absolutely insane. Kugath has never been weak in melee. His animations, I think, are his failing. Uh, but yeah, 1873 value. So not bad. Not bad at all. Very good. He's also got a massive, massive health pool, and although he is an extremely slow-moving character, you'd think he'd suck in melee because he's such a strong artillery piece, and then he has a massive health pool and all this other stuff. Like, he's still pretty good at fighting in melee, though. Not even close. Alright, so we need Shambletown and Nobly Gorge. Nice. Why would mountains be unsuitable climate for Nurgs? Doesn't really make any sense. Wasteland, yes. So why would a temperate climate be suitable, but mountains are not uh, are, are unpleasant for Kugath? Because he doesn't like climbing hills. I mean, realistically, there isn't any way for him to climb up a mountain. Yeah, I don't think he's capable of that. There's a reason he's been carried around by hundreds of little children. Too cold? Oh yeah, true. He is the plague spreader. Plagues do not like do not like it cold. Good point. Ooh, okay, I really like this little section here. Okay, I might just go for Chaos Gladiator just to really make him a good heavy hitter, because he's gonna be our champion. Or I could do casualty replacement rate. Wait, unit experience gain is increased by an additional 20%. Oh man. 
That's really good. That's really insanely good. Oh, man. It has to be that, right? Unit experience gain is increased by an additional 20%, and we get a 5% repl replenishment rate on top of that. It's got to be these two. Because then we're getting what? An additional 20% on top of 20%. So it's what? 40% now? And then if we get rank, the next one at rank 10, it'll be 50%. That's crazy. That's very good. Movement speed always. I, I feel like these... Does anybody ever get these? Like hates Siege or hates Nurgle or hates Corn or whatever? Does anybody ever get these? I feel like they're so situationally useful that I never, ever, ever use them. They're not worth it. They were they were maybe worth it in uh, Realms of Chaos campaign, but why would you get them? Like, it's a skill point. It's it's valuable. Why would I put it into something that's situate? No, right? They should rework that, right? Waste of a point. Yeah. Okay. Good. They're not. Okay. Good. I'm 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 glad we're on the same page with that. Ooh. 10% missile resistance brings him up to 10%. Okay. <laughs> he just he does have 14k health, but that's going to sap pretty quickly when he's being shot by literally anything. Ooh, a nice 4k. What's the money increase? 200 per turn, because 400 per thousand. But double growth, and yeah. Okay, it's worth it. Screw it. One more turn, and we need how much to get the building? 4,500 we currently have. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to get the upgrade next turn. The plague we I want buildings as soon as possible. I understand, say, hates elves, etc. Because you fight like a whole chunk of the same race at once. But hates Sinch? I ain't going to go into the South Pole. I don't know where the, this is. Yeah, exactly. It's too specific. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Too specific just like Nurgle's old tech tree. Also, good. yeah, very true. True, 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 true. It's a lore thing, that's about it. I think it should just automatically be there. I think they should I think they should maybe add it, like have it keep it there, but make it automatically like just a part of the their each lord. So like if you're playing like I don't know, should just make that innately ex like turned on, right? Like hates dwarves and then hates siege. Have this just be ticked by default. Because then it's I don't know, it's like a small perk when you're playing as these factions. They naturally hate each other. They're naturally going to, like, work harder when they're fighting each other. I think it, would be, it should just be turned on by default. Plenty of other factions have a lot of bonuses. Ooh. Like Brothers Oration. Mmm. That's worth it, right? 35 meter range, lasts 26 seconds... And effect, uh, affects all allies. Yeah. That's worth it. Ah, uh, it's Hellman. Alright, mayonnaise boy. Alright, queen mayonnaise. Let's see what you got. Oh. Dude, we're getting a growth point a turn. That's amazing. One more turn and we have the unclean copes. Oh, wait. Actually, I think it... I think I was going to get that last turn, but I lost my plague, and then I guess it cancelled it, so it's going to take one more turn, but that's fine. That's fine. Right, okay, so here, look. Cycle time, minus one for basic military buildings. Basic military buildings. Is it not... Is it not a, oh, there you go. If you get to level three, it's cycle time for advanced military buildings. Oh, and the local province? Local province is just Wuhan, right? Like, if I... Oh, I mean Shattered Stone Bay. That's just this province, right? Or is it the whole area? The whole... Yeah, because that's a province, right? So it's because it's... It would say just for the settlement. For, it's for the whole province, right? No? No, it's all four regions. Yes, that's what I mean. Region and then province. Yeah, yeah okay, good, good, good. Okay, that's worth it. Why not? We're going to get... Oh, we get 7k. Okay, this is more than worth it. Ooh. Ooh. And we can get our building. Oh, and it only costs plagues. Large, lesser garden of blight. Don't mind if I do. All right, so one turn, we got 4,500, so we can get that immediately. We're coming along, dude. We win this fight against Mr. Mayonnaise, we're, we're golden. 
And that's a big if. Oh, we can get the frolicking bubonics. The frolicker's bubonic. I don't know what to replace for this. I am kind of tempted, even though they're much worse, to replace the plague bears. What do you guys think? Get rid of a unit of nergs or get rid of a unit of plague bears for the frolickers? Bubonic. Furies? You don't think furies are worth keeping? We're dealing with... Uh, you don't think they're worth keeping to have a flying option? Oh. Yep, fair enough. Alright. I'm assuming Mr. Mayonnaise is not going to attack us immediately. Something tells me he's going to... He's gonna run away because this on paper should not be an easy win for him We've got heroes. We got a lot of individual guys that can beat his ass and this in an auto resolve isn't great Although in when you actually play the fight Gorst is really dangerous. So It's a weird one Hmm, all right, let's just see what happens Okay, mr. Hellman I just realized I just thought of a way where CA can earn back a shit ton of money. They should make a deal with Hellman's mayonnaise for Hellman Gorst flavored mayonnaise. No, Hellman Gorst themed mayonnaise. They could make literally millions. An opportunity presents itself. I would buy zombie mayonnaise. Or dwarfen specimens and find out the cause of their necrotic missiles resistance to your concoction necrotic missiles ammunition increase the number of projectiles oh wait so he just gets more ammo for his nerglings i like how they're called necrotic missiles he's just throwing his kids like a really bad dad Ooh, he tried to ambush you. Oh my god, he did try to ambush me. What a bitch. <laughs> this old, decrepit, stinky little old man tried to ambush me. What the hell? Did this go back up? What the f- Why is it three turns now? Oh. What? I'm so confused. My growth staying the same. Is are they raising the cap on growth? Why is that two turns away now? Whatever. I'll just wait two turns then. All right. Let's see if I can alter this. Valiant defeat. Jeez. Okay. Well, we have to fight him. I guess it's all of these units, like the black coach. He has two units of ghouls. He does have a white king. He has two units of crypt horrors. A black coach. Black coaches are actually very good. I found out. This is one of those units. A bl the black coach is one of those units that I never, ever, ever use. I never play vampire counts. And when I play vampire counts, I never use it. Because I don't like Kev or chariots particularly. But apparently they're very good. I don't go math as hard. The risk was calculated, but I'm bad at math. Or whatever the quote is. Let's jump in. Growth plague ran out? No, I, I've had the same amount of growth the whole time. Well, since the growth ran out, which was like a couple of turns ago. Black coaches are deceptively great. Yeah. Yeah. It's. It, I, I'm pretty sure I fought Gorst's before on a different campaign I can't remember what it was I might have been playing Nurgle actually but I remember the coach just started plowing through everything and got way more kills than I expected like far far more kills than I ever expected I'm gonna have to spread my formation thin here a little bit wider than usual otherwise he's gonna decimate my whole army oh my god is he is he's not gonna hold the high ground is he don't try it! I fucking hate sand.
All right, is he gonna come for me? He looks like he's coming for me. Nice, he's leaving the high ground, Anakin. That's good for us. That's good for us. All right, I'm gonna get over here so I can pelt him with some crap. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no. don't be tossing it stuff you're not gonna be able to kill. Just infantry, please. Infantry, please. Yes. I think my flying creature beats their flying creature, so I'm just gonna go in for it. Oh, and pelt the ghouls and target the ghouls. Wait, do these ghouls have hit hide or stalk? They do have stalk. Do ghouls always have stalk? All right, fight the fell bats. They should win that. They should absolutely win that. If plague drones don't win that, that's yeah, they're crushing them. Great, 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 great. All right, let's send our heroes out. Yes, send your white king out. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Get him off the field. This is good for us. Yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna keep my frogs in reserve, frog reserves. I'm gonna keep my French troops in reserve. All right, beat the brakes off of this guy. There's no brakes on this train. All right, we gotta get Coogs up. All right, Gorst is very slow, which is very good because he might actually not make it in, in time. Guys, wait, how good are death's heads at, at individual? What are they meant to shoot? Just everything? Special ranged weapon. This unit has special missile stat with limited ammunition, which can be very useful when initiating attacks. Oh, oh, cool. That's very helpful. This that's like hovering over a gun unit. It's like this unit has a gun. Guns are traditionally used for shooting. Like, okay, everything? Is it are they better for single entities or groups? They're kind of bad against most things. That's my experience with them. But what are they like meant to type to, to, to target? Get the Mortis engine. I'll get the Unholy Lodestone. See if that helps. Take them off fire at will and then manually target this thing. See if it doesn't need damage. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No, 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 no. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Uh, you know what? Shit, we're gonna have to blob a little bit here. All right, frog, frog troops, flank. Frogs, go around, go, go, go. Oh shit, I gotta get my cultist out of there. Uh, get in there, bud. Get in there, bud. All right, let's get Coog right here. Get our melee defense up. Ah! Anime enjoyers. Been oh no, they're dude, they're wrecking that on Holy Load. So they're doing a good job. There are frogs around. Frog troops, flank! Go, my frogs! Alright, and now we can get a fat overcast right in the middle. Alright. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right there, on Holy Lodestone. Alright, let's keep the cultists over here. Have this guy duke it out with their hero. I'm pretty sure he'll win that fight. And then we just... Uh, I don't like that he's coming. Alright, um, let's get the frogs on him. Oh, I, wait, I can slow him down. Alright, let's get frogs into the back lines here. Actually, no, let's route this side off and then we can wrap them up. And then let's keep the frogs... Let's keep them distracted with even plague toads if I can. And it looks like his line of... Kuga's line of sight is fucked, so I'm gonna... Change him around. All right, they're blobbed up so perfectly right now. Yes, yeah, stay blobbed, you sons of bitches. Get the plague drones on him. His DOT is going to be less effective on units that are um, smaller in number, right? Oh, he's getting beaten up a little bit here. All right, that Martin guy's getting healed a lot, I think. All right, let's just get him beaten up here. All right. I should save them for the overcasts. Go, 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 go. Breath attack. Nice. Their ghouls are getting shredded. Nice, nice, nice. Get them, frogs. 
Oh, dude, G Gorst is a baby, man. Oh, Gorst is doomed. Throw a fat heel on Sex Hammer. This is going great. Pop that defensive ability. Get another breath attack going. Really? Are you actually my fucking my ass? Nothing like a good misclick. Like a good weird glitchy misclick. My favorite. My abs my actual favorite thing. Oh, he's bringing his white back. Alright, we gotta rescue that. Alright, slow him down. Just in case he tries to push through. And let's surround him with the French. All right, let's Frenchify him. All right, how's that black kosher? Whoa, that mass! Whoa, that mass! What? Excuse me? How's it doing? 271 value. Not great. I think they just kind of just blobbed it up, I guess. So. Makes sense. Wrap him up. Wrap him up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Man, the Cryptors have been really staying alive very well. No, keep him away. Keep him away. No, frog him. Frog him. Hit him with the frogs. He has to die. He has to die. He has to die. Yes, he's crumbling. Yes. Yes! Die, you decrepit old zombie fart. He's like a fart sheathed in black cloth. Cloth? Oh! He's dead. Pop goes the stinky old guy. Get destroyed. How's Coogs doing? Yeah, he's got some good value. Let's get a heal on our Plague Bearer. And that should be it. Wrap it up from here. It should crumble very quickly. Pop goes the pensioner. Good one. I'm going to retcon that in my brain to make me think that I thought of that. <laughs> oh, and you're dead, little man. Look at this fucking screaming frog. Hell fucking yeah! Decisive victory, boys. Hellman's mayonnaise, indeed. 417 kills, 1830 value. And a thousand value on our uh, exalted hero. Damn. Wasn't even. That was pretty decisive. That went great. Frog Pog? He literally did a. <laughs> Froggers? Literal froggers. <laughs> Direct froggers. We should get a froggers emote. That would be adorable. Frog pog? Froggers? Frog pog? Uh, healing... Infections... Uh, infections. Did he survive? Oh, he did survive because of that stupid mechanic. That stupid, helpful mechanic. As fat or resolve his little old bony buns. Take the money this time. Uh, what do we get for killing him again? I forgot. Uh, trace gain. <laughs> I forgot! Useless. <laughs> Dude, that's the funniest thing ever. The fact that Gorst is right there. It's so funny. Like, it, they literally, it could not be a worse matchup. Because they put you on an island next to a guy that's immune to poison and all contact effects. 
And then, if you manage to kill a, a guy that specializes in wiping out larger groups of infantry with damage over time, healing spells, and breath spells that kill massive amounts of infantry, and if you do kill him, your reward is a thing you already have. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god, that's funny. That's so funny, dude. It's the worst setup ever. There should be a unique defeat trait. That you get from him, you know, you know, like how um, uh, what what is he called? Um, Sirtha Ek. If you kill Sirtha Ek with Cetra or vice versa, they get a crazy chariot trait that goes either way, right? They should make a unique defeat trait that gives them something crazy, you know. Does Kugath have regen? No. Kugeth should get regen if you kill Gorst. Gorst. You know? He take like he's stealing his vampire regen thing. That would be awesome. Or an increase to battle healing cap. Yeah. That would be that would be good. Kugeth doesn't need uh regen. He has a uh, Nurgle army ability at all costs. Yeah, but I mean, ded dedicated replenishment is always worth it. But yeah, a, a, an increase to regen cap would be a better reward than poison, I think. Uh, ooh, what are we gonna pursue here? Ideally, I would get a giant stack of soul grinders and great unclean ones, and whatever else that we can get. Growth, very good. Such. Power. Power. Fascinating. Punishment. Evasion. We're getting good now. We're getting real strong. Oh, okay. This is a good. Oh, I'm okay. This is one that that's always interesting. I usually get locus of fecundity because more healing is always good, and also it turns him into kind of like a world beater because you can keep just healing him over and over <laughs> again. This doesn't seem like a lot of damage. Melee damage reflection plus six and but minus ten armor to all enemy uh to, to enemies to all units and all armories in all in the local province is also great. What do you guys think? Toxic trooper or stench? Cause we've got healing, you know? And we're about to have Winds of Magic healing on uh on Snotty and eventually on Kugath. So wouldn't it be better to have Toxic Trooper? Always stench. Yeah, he gets 5% damage resistance, but he gets a little bit of reflection, but minus 10, minus 10 armor isn't that good though, right? I'm actually going to put this up to a vote while I level up other characters, because I'm curious. Toxic. Stench. Toxic or Stench? Toxic is the uh, armor debuff and the acid. Stench is physical resistance and the heal. Uh, three three casts of Locus of Fecundity for free. I'm actually curious. All right, I'm gonna level up the other guys. The defense, bloated carcass, kind of useless for this guy. That's what I'm saying, Coogs. Coogs, my dudes. Uh, Luther von Karlsbuck. Karlsbruck. Luther von Karls Jr. Stench. 65% stench. It's just worth it for stench. Alright. Yeah, minus 10 armor isn't a lot. Minus 10 armor isn't a lot at all, really. Considering... Th like, three powerful heals on three units, plus vigor... Per, per second and you get five physical resistance versus a pretty ineffective acid thing and armor reduction of only 10 which is not a lot yeah army debuff is great because you because of nurgle being extremely slow to actually kill anything yeah there's but there's benefits to both i wish you could get both really uh i might push this but i feel like he's gonna run away and then i'm kind of screwed because I can't go into in camp stance. Can I regen in his territory? Can I? 
I can. All right, I'm just gonna push forward in this, and then we'll play it safe. All right, two more turns. 10k. Oh. Nope. Wait, 10k is enough that I can buy this now, and still get the other stuff. We're rich. And we don't have to deal with Hellman's mayonnaise number two. Rot beat mount? Oh yeah. Oh crap. Are we allowed to show rot beast mount? Ooh, I'm gonna look that up. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm literally gonna ask real quick. I gotta ask that because I'm worried about NDA. We're rich. Oh, oh, come on! Not you. Ah. Oh. oh, I hate getting declared on my ogres. Let me stabbed in the the back by your fucking dad. My beautiful boys. Betrayed. <laughs> Betrayers all around. Alright, we'll take Shambletown and then Nobly Gorge. So cute. And then we'll take the Capital. He'll probably replenish his entire army and himself and all his other stuff. Hmm. Enables magical attacks and wait, does he no alright, I'm gonna put it on my hero because that sounds useful. Wait, if I put magical attacks on Coogs, do you get it on his missiles? No. Unless it only shows two of these. Do you guys know if he gets Oh no, I, ma magical attacks, ammunition. Right. Wait, does he already have that? He already has that. He's already a magic boy, I forgot. Grandfather! He is truly magical. Hey, Okoy, when are we going to get another Doomstack tournament? Oh, man. Um. <laughs> oh, the last one went so well. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I, I would happily do like another. Uh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's go. Casualty for all demonic units, Nurgling Tide, which is not great, and the self-destruct on Nurgling units is really underwhelming, and I want them to buff that. Even now, it's it's not great. Ooh, Demon Spew. Demon Spew are worth it. Yeah, God damn it. Um. All right. Oh, get prepared. And there we go. Specimens for the battle study. All right. Take off the rot beast just in case, Joe. Oh, right. Yeah. Is he already on it? Did he already unlock it? No, he doesn't have a rot beast yet. He just can get one. Look, it's uh here. See. But he gets it at rank 16, so it's a it's a while in the future. But he just he can get one, so I need to find out if that's okay to show, because that is definitely new. That is new for sure. Ah, oh, goddamn! I gotta wait. I'm so impatient. I want my growth now. I gotta deal with this stinky old man's dinosaur faction of rancid zombie corpses. Nice try. They always, I swear, it would be cool if the AI, like, weighed your your faction's power more and stuff like that. They, it's always a last resort. Like, it's always after they do something really annoying. <laughs> like, I raided six of your undefended settlements and killed your grandmother. Peace? For a small amount of money? Peace? 
like, no, dude. No. That's crazy. It's a crazy thing to ask. Okay, can we get frogs? We have frogs. We have frogs at home. Where are our frogs? Uh, we can't recruit any currently, but we will get more frogs. I wouldn't. I I I could make a <laughs> frog stack. They do get leadership and melee defense, charge bonus, twenty percent unit mass, eye crusts. Gross. Um, charge bonus, recruit rank, unit mass, more charge bonus, melee defense, leadership. And that's it. Wait. And armor and melee attack. Ooh. That's actually... Okay, hold on. Toad. Did they get boss from this place too? No. Why is it highlighting this? All right, bud? Are right, my cats going nuts? Wait, why is it... I don't think this is working properly. It should say plague toads, right? Plague, to plague toad. No, it's not working. Oh well. It seems like you get a lot of toad buffs, though. Because we could get fleshy growth, ravenous tadpoles, overcome resistance, which means we'd be able to unlock eye crust too. And that looks like it. And that's like it, but still. I want to cancel construction of that flayed rock. Okay, why? Ah, oh, I spent all my money. Huh? And it's five turns. It's five turns until I can build the next building up anyway. It's fine. Nah, I don't want to cancel. Why would I cancel it? All right, moving on. Oh, geez. Okay, that Joe... Joss Gildrick isn't going to be able to do crap. Nice. Oh, look at that. Nurgle Corruption. Close victory. Medium casualties. I'm just going to order it. Get slapped. Give me Nobly Gorg. I love Nobly Gorgs. Oh, man. No. Ooh. Actually useful now. I got that in in my uh, Epidemius campaign too. Oh, wait, look at all this stuff. Damn. Potion healing. Feather toe dork. Armor 20. Shield of Todos is better than that, actually. Armor 120, 45. You can get the armor you need the most. And... Word save, armor, feather toe. Actually, I might combine these. Ugh. Should I risk it? Ugh, something good? Ether blade. Ah, that's fine. Whatever. That's fine. A little bit more damage. Get some with the 505. That's fine. I was hoping for the brass cleaver or something. Both after winning a battle, that's amazing. Uh, replenishment for... What level are my nerves? Like, three? Yeah, we'll wait on that then. Although, I'll keep minus 25% for Nurglings, though, and they're already cheap as hell. Melee defense for Nurglings. None of this applies until they're rank 7. I'll wait on that one. Uh, recruit rank. Recruit capacity for Plague Ridden. I would have to build a building for that, though. Angel of Disease. Oh, Fleshy Abundance. And more melee buffs. And Cultist Guy. When does he unlock this again? Rank 12? 13. We're getting there. We're getting there. Slowly. Adokoi, can you kiss Greasus on the lips for me? Greasus? Mwah! Wait. Wait. Hold on. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> yeah. 
Master of Hugs. Oh, it's him. You still have a tongue to talk? Oh. Oh. It's your boy. Hang on, rot. Nagar's champion. There goes champion. Cool, cool guy. Cool, 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 cool. Soon, my precious. Give Greasus your city so he doesn't attack you. Oh, does he like me? Negative 40 aversion isn't too bad. What if I give him pig botter? He loves pigs and bottering. I bet. Adekoy, offer to join wars with Tam and get treaties. Offer to join wars. Oh, that's a good idea. Oops. Join wars against the war host of the apocalypse. The f What's the Parks and Rec thing? Every time I read war host of the apocalypse, I think of um, the four... I can't remember. It's a, it's like a breakfast item in Parks and Rec. It's like the the egg porkman. It's of something of the egg porkalypse or something like that. Nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, we'll declare on heralds because they're more likely to die. And then, oh, look at all this military access, an aggression pact, and 1800. Come how have I never thought about? Ooh, how have I never thought about joining wars to, su to secure alliances and war host? Yes, for more money, thirty nine hundred. Yes, there's no reason why you should be giving me all this stuff for this. Good idea, dude. Oh, and then we boy. wait for it to go up, and maybe we can get a defensive alliance. I can't confederate him, but you know, four horse meals of the egg porkalypse. That's it. <laughs> so good. I've been rewatching Parks and Rec again uh, recently, just while I'm working, because it's a good background TV show. Uh, nerdy infections. All right, infections and neural corruption. All right. He's not green enough. Not everything has to be completely green. Oh, oh, this the the guy with the eyebrows that don't quit. Uh, no. Fight me. Increase your social credit rating. Alokoi, what you working as? Can you give us a hint? Like, what videos am I working on? Uh, I can. I'm pretty sure I can just tell you. You, I mean, I've been planning to make 19 thunder barges and 19 tow dragons for a hot minute. Like. So, you know. Hint, hintity, hint, hint. Oh, get out of here, Joss. All right, well, I'm not up the upgrading Shambletown. Uh, I'm going to go over here and take out the Haunted Forest, but he's still here. I'm going to kill him. I got to kill him. Oh, don't run. Why? For what? You're going an inch away, dude. <laughs> oh, I hate this mechanic. Flash! Give me your flash! Now, why even run? You're gonna get diarrhea on either way. So silly. Chaos Chariot, nice. I'm gonna take him off that. That's a really micro heavy unit that I don't wanna have to deal with. And it also makes him not that great in melee. Increase mobility, uh, training, mad training. I want max training so I can get my nerds up to rank seven as fast as possible. And okay, we can only get to there anyway, even if we uh, march stance. So just run back. Oh, they're gonna attack Shamble Town, and I hate them. How about we recruit? A Chaos Lord or Nurgle. Are we allowed to recruit Chaos Lords or Nurgle? They're, those are new, right? We're not allowed to do that. 19 Rot Knights and 18 Demigriff Knights at Okoy. Why don't I do Demigriff Knights now? I do one of the new units. 19 Land Ships? Yep. I'm doing one of those too. I have all of these prepped. I really want to do all of them. They're very fun. The Land Ships especially are so fun in multiplayer. They're so fun. 
I mean, just look at the footage. They're very fun. Is Sons of Decay out or is this early? Uh, this is early. We're about, we're a week or two early. 19 Rotten Knights, I was planning on doing because they're very strong. You can get them unbelievably strong in the campaign. 19 tree can win. Never. Tree can are boring. This is factual. Oh, I really don't want to. He's going to attack my stuff. It's a little bit difficult treading around what we are and aren't allowed to recruit. So I'm just going to play it safe ish. And. Oh, man. Hang on. Oof. Oof. I, have you guys seen anybody else recruiting Chaos Lords of Nurgle yet? Or are we not allowed? Is that new? That's probably new, right? I'm just going to play it safe and recruit a Chaos Lord. Of Burning Body, Chaos Familiar. I think I just need somebody to duke it out and... Heralds are better at fighting. Passive ability or of pestilence, minus five melee attack, chance of spreading plagues, and increase melee attack. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Repellent. Oh! Oh my god! Oh, that's actually not that good. Alright, I'm gonna get Herald and Nurgle Contagious. I can spam Spirit Leech and beat his ass. Stupid supply lines. Has anybody else just struggled to recruit the second army because of the whole supply lines thing? Like, I'm like 50 turns in before I even consider recruiting another army most of the time. Depending on the faction that we're playing. 20 toady dragons win. Just as soon as I am able, sir. Bro, just disable the DLC lol. Do I have? Can you do that? Oh, is that what people have been doing? They like unticked it? Oh, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, that would make so much sense. Oh, that would make a lot of sense. Oh, ooh. Am I the only one who left the DLC on then? I'm just not, I'm just avoiding everything like the plague. Ah, oh, crap. Great Book of Grudges did, I think. Dude, that would explain why nobody is recruiting any of the new stuff. I mean, I'm avoiding it like the plague, so I hopefully won't get in trouble. It's just not laughing at me. But would you have skill tree changes yet? Yeah, I think all the reworks are... Mercy the Mad forgot to tick it off, as did our card. Opinion on Rot Knights, aka the best K9 units. You're just gonna have to wait to find out. F, dude. My um. Oh, I hate it when we're like. I could sneeze and fall into their province. Most All right. Uh, three more turns. Let's just. Uh, I, I'm gonna upgrade Shambletown. Why not? We have nothing to recruit. Nothing at all. Do these guys look different? Oh yeah, they have like the shoulder mounted thing. A bell. Or a nurgling on their shoulder and whatever. God, I, I feel like I never recruit generic lords. He's good at this game. Promise guys. I've never said I'm good at good at the game. Uh, this Thrones of Decay. This is the Thrones of Decay patch, but we're playing Kuya. Yeah. I'm not allowed to play any of the, the actual DLC units. Or DLC Lords yet. Uh, erm, erm, erm. Alright, we're good. Alright, goodbye, Gorst. Goodbye, old man. The time is now, old man. 
Wait, what, what's the quote? What's the Malcolm in the Middle quote? I can't remember. I try to, and rec the future's now. I try and recruit at least a couple lords early and split my army between them, unless my main lord has bonuses, but getting on top of leveling is useful. True, true. I guess if you're beelining for high level stuff. Ooh. I'm almost tempted to like sack and blow up this region. Just so I don't have to take the negative. Fuck it, whatever. Ooh, unique building. Infected Grove, 400 income per turn, 35 growth, battle healing cap 25 for plague units, and all armies. Wow, that would be really good for Epidemius. Since his whole thing centers on those guys. Infections 20 per turn, that's amazing. And Nurgle Corruption and Growth, why not? Ah, Pox Riders. Pox Riders! Ooh, I'm gonna replace the Plague Bearers, I think. Ah, but they're really good. Uh, <laughs> is, uh, I'm just gonna buy the bullet and replace Nurglings. They're not that good, unfortunately. Crushingly, sadly, they're not actually that good. Also because they get no kills in the auto resolve or really in the games, they're not gaining much XP. I'm gonna... Oh yeah, what is this? Chance of playing... Chance of plague spreading 10% for all future plagues. Infections cost of create plague minus 10. Minus 10% is not a lot. It's like 20 plagues per plague. I guess that's not terrible. Alright. Blight boil would be great too. You know what? Blight boil would have been really goddamn useful during that whole fight sequence. I think we're gonna have to backtrack to kill the Ogres. Oh, it's Gorst! Get out of here, you stinking pile of filth! Wait, why can't I recruit anything? Oh, because it's my my army's full. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Um, Chaos War Shrine. Nice. And. Ooh, another Beast of Nurgle. Beast of Nurgles, I feel like, are okay. They're just, they're more of a stat AoE thing and a distraction than anything. Cloud of Flies. Regen. There it is. Slime Trail. Minus 5 melee attack speed. Uh, I guess it's worth it. Join the grandest experiment. All right, um, moving on. All right, Gorse is gonna be forced to attack, and I think Gorse might have enough auto resolve weight to win that fight. So that's super irritating. And I need the most amount of happiness here because I'm gonna get screwed. All right. Whoa. <laughs> the sad face. <laughs> That's such a throwaway joke, guys. <laughs> Chill. I feel bad. Oh no, he's he's a little baby. Oh, of course he survived. Okay, as my mother is a vaccine denying conspiracy theorist, I can't even correct you. She's a Nurgle unit. She is a Nurgle unit. It's true. Damn. <laughs> this guy, dude, this guy got poison attacks. Awesome. I don't even spirit leech, I guess. Oh my god, how did he get so big? What? Where did he get all this? What the hell? <laughs> what? Where did he get all that crap? Oh, from the, the... Wait a second. Did he just... F wait a minute. Did he just fight? 
lose and then use the corpses from the fight to recruit a ton of units? Is that what just happened? Did he just use his own crappy fight to just recruit an entire army? That's crazy. What an asshole. That's just disgusting. That's a disgusting tactic. If he wins the hour resolve, I'm going to be so angry now. Ooh, you know what? I might... Nah, I need the money. I mean, I don't need the money, but I do need the money. And for turns... So, like, this is a cool thing. You can rush cycles now. And... I'm gonna do that because two and then we can start it up to the third damn I'm gonna get nothing until t until tier four and I can get a soul grinder and then eventually another soul grinder and then another so and then two another two soul grinders and a great and clean one and then two great and clean ones and then one great and clean one and then we're back all right but I can hurry the cycle and then I'll put it up here so we get another beast of Nurgle and a bunch of chaos war shrines Damn. Beasts of Nurgles are not that good. Although, I think I would take Beasts of Nurgles over Nurglings. What do you think? Would you say Beasts of Nurgles are better than Nurglings? Innate regen. Maybe not with all the buffs they have. Maybe I should take my research out of these guys and put it into something else. I'm not going to be using those guys pretty soon. I should go Pox Tally. Because then... Beasts of Nurglings will be getting stuff. And so will... Uh, Soul Grinders, and and then also Great and Clean ones. Okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna switch my, my thing up. Beasts are the worst, unfortunately. Nurglings are funny little guys. Yeah, there, there's no reason why we can't have a nice, like, healthy mix. Nice, healthy mix of Nurgs. Nurg units. Alright. All right, Mayonnaise Boy. I'm going to head towards Mayonnaise Boy, and then we'll wipe out the Ogres. Unless they want a Peace Treaty. Nope. 69. Great. Cool. Whatever, dude. Uh, wait, do we not have contact with the, the, the Maggot? I almost said something else. Damn. He really doesn't even like us that much. I thought he would like us a lot more than that. Consider we're at war with all the same people. Get an alliance with the Chaos Dwarves and get some big guns. Ooh, range units for Nurgs could be fun. All right, money buildings, always good. Basic military, I might go down, because getting some just better units flat out, like frogs. Yeah, frogs. And that's it, just frogs, because we can't get anything else from these trees. Infantry line could be a good one to go down. Hmm. Four turns until that's even built, though. Pox Riders could be nice. Flying units. Ooh, I don't know, man. I feel a little bit bottlenecked with these sometimes. You know what? I'm just going to focus money, I think, and infections for now. Our army's fine. We got good, we got good units. All right, let's see what this stink boy does. Wrinkly stink boy. Is this game related to 40k? Dodo, this game is in the same universe as uh, Warhammer 40k. It's Warhammer Fantasy. So it's like medieval uh, uh, valiant defeat. Oh, he's almost dead. How'd they get a Banshee? What do you guys think the odds are if I nuke Hellman? Oh, he'll heal up. He'll just heal, won't he? He'll immediately just ding himself straight back to full health. And I'm never going to be able to deal with the Banshee. Why does Gorse look like a scrotum? Uh, I might just take the L and then go take it back immediately. You can do this? I don't. I can't. We've not, it's not Great Winds of Magic, and as, mu as much as I will be able to use Spirit Leech on him, it's it's not even going to out-damage his ability to heal it. Unwinnable. Yeah, I agree. That's not, that's not, wait, <laughs> that's not worth wasting everybody's time having to watch that. Yeah, it's, it is unwinnable. 
knowing how strong Gorst is and how much crazy regen he has, that isn't possible. Not Shambletown. Oh, I wasted money upgrading it too. Raise or sack six Kislev Cathay or Empire cells. Oh, Cathay. We could actually do that. 2,000 infections. All right, I tell you what, let's build up an army and we're going on a sacking spree of Cathay. Guys, remind me to, to raise our sack. We're going to sack all of China and make a boatload of cash and 2,000 infections. Uh... God, Nurgle has very limited building spread. Recruitment health, 5% for all units. Recruitment, recruitment health increase. That is worth it. I plan on recruiting a lot from here. Wait, does that mean I have to travel to this province to recruit them? Or can I recruit them from any province, but because I have this building in this province, anything recruited from this province gets increased health. If, if that makes any sense. So long story short, okay, is Kugath fun now? I think he's definitely more fun, yeah. The plagues are more rewarding. His system of everything is better. You can now rush plagues, rush cycles, and it's not even that expensive. So like, I could go bam, bam, and it's now at, tur at three. And then I won't be able to get it to turn four. So seven, Ooh, maybe after seven turns I will be able to get a soul grinder, but hmm. Didn't take me too long to get to the disease growth too. God, so much growth, amazing. Alright, let's wipe out. Let's get rid of him once and for all. He can't retreat because he's in a settlement, and this should be an easy auto. Bam! Rip! Rest in pieces. Oh, God. This province is so deeply unhappy. Oh, is the vampire corruption going up? How do you look at the corruption balance? Forget. Wait, did they get rid of that chart that shows you all of the different types of infection? Oh. Does anybody remember how you checked that? I, I don't remember. Left side of the screen? Oh yeah, it's here. <laughs> Talk about tunnel vision. God damn. Yeah, this is going up slightly. Man. Ugh. Vampires are <coughs> difficult to, to scrub out. Ooh. Uh, scrap there. <clears throat> Novelty Gorge might get taken. I might actually build a garrison building here to keep the Chinese from pounding my green cheeks while we are wiping out the, the Augers. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth it. Such power. Oh, okay, this is good. This one's easy. It's always locus of fecundity. Three free casts of more healing is always worth it. Although virulence is on a affects allies in range all. Oh yeah, everything in a 35 meter radius gets a bit of a damage buff, which for Nurgle is actually pretty good. But I feel like healing. If I can heal, they'll die eventually anyway. Keeping Xi Jinping at bay? Exactly. 
We don't want Winnie the Pooh rampaging through our nerve glands. This amount of attrition in your own lands sucks. Is it the vampiric attrition enables attrition for non? Is that I thought they just disappeared below fifty percent. I mean, nah, whatever. All right. It's time to kill some ogres. <laughs> it's 25%? Alright, it'll be gone soon then. Fun is subjective. You might not enjoy it. Uh, and you may. Okoy can't really answer that. Yeah. I, th I think that his mechanics are more well-rounded, but it depends what you enjoy. I don't think... I think the Nurgle mechanics make his camp Nurgle in general feel a lot better. And I think that the focus on growth and how it affects... Like how much you get in this starting zone, as opposed to benefits from heroes and stuff, feels a lot better. It is very subjective though. <laughs> it just is. Yeah, there we go. No more vampiric corruption. Alright. Yeah, we're getting, we're actually pretty doing pretty decent. Economy wise, I can probably afford to recruit a second army. I might recruit something in Haunted Forest and then beeline it over to Knob Gorge if we need it. We lost our other guy, so I'm gonna have to recruit somebody new. Damn it. The title says, Is Kugath fun now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asking if he's fun now is fair. It's, it's subjective. I'm having fun with him though, so. You know, I'd say so. It was more of a, is he better than he was prior to this Nurgle rework? And I think yes, so far. All right. I wish it would filter the units over to the left for the ones that you can recruit, even if you don't have the caps up. Because it'd be nice to know without having to scale through all of my units which ones I can recruit. Not that I have too many options right now, but still. Oh, come here, little man. Come here, little Thorg. Oh, he's screwed. He can't go anywhere. Even just looking at the ogre thumbnails makes me want to play ogres. You got early access to the DLC? Yeah, Matt. I am a content partner with Creative Assembly. So I get advanced access to their stuff. You know? To make videos on and do streams. The economy was brutal for Nurgle. Yeah, it feels like you get a lot more money now. Although, I'm not an expert at playing Nurgle, so... No! That sucks. That fucking sucks. Man. That is not a good sign. <laughs> I will say, um, although I can't give details about his campaign, he starts in a very difficult area. You know? Like if you like we know that he starts here. Cause he just got killed, right? He starts in the, the plains of Zanbaijin, that's public. And also when when we checked, he was at war with Archaon and Kolek. So going by that logic, you're gonna be sandwiched between a war between Kolek and Archaon, which uh is really scary. Yeah, I kind of knew it was going to happen. Being stuck between two warriors of Chaos Legend Lords is a very poopy situation. But 
who knows? Maybe it'll be easy, or at least very do- Look how tiny that ogre looks compared to, uh, our big boy. Ooh, I don't know what to take. What do you think, money or infections? Hmm. We got plenty of money. Oh, the festering stooges. Literally the three stooges. If I replace one of these guys, I'm just going to replace one of my nerds. I'm sorry to say. Shouldn't have any garrison. Occupy, and we're good. Oh, corrupted swamp town. Uh, casualty replenishment rate plus 10%. Recruitment health plus 25% for Plague Toads and Fox Rider units faction-wide and regeneration for Rot Flies? What? Has that always been a thing? Uh, now I kind of feel like I have to recruit frogs. That's real, that's crazy. 25% more health for Plague Toads and Riders? No? No? It's always been really good? That's a fun building. No! Get away from Shattered Stone Bay, Bulk Farg. Alright, I'm gonna recruit a new guy. Uh, I, I think I like Chaos Lords more than I like the Heralds. And let's go Nergs, because then we'll get regen. And flaming attacks. Time to ah! Get! I, I can't! I gotta do it! No! I can't do it. I literally can't, otherwise I <laughs> I'd ruin everything. Oh, but I wish. Hmm. This will infect so many. Let's get that upkeep down. That would be very good. I don't think I can show Raw Beasts, by the way. I apparently should have disabled the entire DLC, like access to the DLC, on ticket of my DLC like area, which would have been really smart. And I didn't think to do that, because I am not a wise man. Lightning strike when? Why are these so expensive? Oh, they're exalted. Oh, boy. What is the building for frogs, then? Because I might push pursue that. It is the basic military demonic egg sacs. Gross. Gross. All right. Uh, I guess when we hit tier four, I'll recruit a demonic egg sac thing. We can recruit frogs and it, as many frogs as possible. Or I could just build one in pig bother alongside the corrupted swamp town because it's a, I don't know, it's faction wide. Whatever, I'll build it wherever I can. I'll build one here. Inflate rock. Get plenty of frogs and flayed rock. Oh, yep, happiness is going up. Wait, Ludrid Humongous? <laughs> wow, what a Nurgle last name. Well, that's really, that's an Ogre Kingdom's name. Ooh. Friendly? Who are you war with? I will join. No, actually, I'm not going to join your war against those guys. They'll probably declare war on me now that I've said that. Ah, the Asians! Oh, God damn it! How did I not see him? God! Bogdan? The man with the eyebrows that won't quit. This is a good army too. This is all of his starting units. He's got the fire rain rockets. <sighs> that sucks. Oh my god, we got a beeline back. 
Of course he sacked my town. Clip that? <laughs> okay. Chinese Mafia has arrived for tribute. Yeah, maybe I can peace out with the ogres. I would appreciate not having to kill them. Obtain samples, wallow in the filth. Definitely obtain samples. Six turns of 20% increased re uh, uh, research rate. Uh, uh. Oh, come on. What is this? Is he seriously just traipsing around trying to find my undefended settlements? No one tells a tyrant what this is why I hate the AI in this game sometimes. For real, like this is so cowardly. Ow! Credit score was low. <laughs> uh. Kind of ruining my economy though. Uh, what do we do? It's gonna take two turns just to go down here to wipe them out. I tell you what, let's just be like double back. It's gonna be a lot more of a pain in the ass to die to this. Move forth with you. In the meantime, five turns and we can get the diseased grove. Diseased grove means more stuff, more soul grindies. Oh, 150? Can I push that? Yes! Let's go! Amazing! Huge! Huge! Bam! Soul Grinder! 447 upkeep? Oh my god! Oh my god! Good God, that is so expensive. I know it's a tier four unit, but wow. Can I get an upkeep production for that at all? Because yowza, that's very expensive. I don't go, why didn't you go for Kugas Mortis effect? Did they change something in the blue line? Uh, he doesn't have a Mortis effect. Or is it here? Yeah, it's here. It's in fed. It's in his yellow line. It's the end of his yellow line. He gets a mortis. That's down the line, though. I gotta do the red line. Also, magic is probably actually. You know, I might make a melee because we already have. Yeah, that'd probably be better than his magic, to be honest. We already have a caster. And making his projectiles stronger, his melee stuff, and then get his his uh, mortis effect down the line. Probably a better idea. All right, bud. You guys hear my cat? Or is that is it not get picked up? Two hours ago, I never go yellow line. Yeah, I know, but he has a mortis engine effect on his yellow line, and we already have a caster. So in this one, I'm just saying most of my campaigns, I don't pursue the yellow line. Don't call me out on my own stream. <laughs> All right, it's frog time. Pursue the frogs. Hopefully this guy will chill. All right. Can I make a deal with you? All right, I will join a war against... Damn it. He's only at war with me. You fat son of a bitch. Only what I listen to is me. Oh, Jiao Man, get out of my lands. He's being stinked out. He is taking attrition. Which is really good. I'm getting 100 plagues per turn, by the way, which is phenomenal. Not a high, high bar. We need more gross Nurgle events. What do you mean? What is Nurgle's... Uh, not Nurgle. What's Kugas quest battle? I'm forgetting. I need to look through his uh, items. Alright, whatever. Take my town, man. You big stinky man. 
You big stinking man. Fight a bunch of dwarves. Oh, that makes sense, I guess. There you go. They're offering me money for it, too. You know what? I bet I can get more money out of them. Every time. Every time. They offer you less than they can get, than they can. Every single time. Kugat's quest battle is dwarves and pain. Oh. The crown lies near a large forest in the Empire. It's always in the Empire. Every single damn time. This is a mission issued. Stuff. Wait. Defeat six Catholic armies in the field. In the field, that's really difficult to do. All right. Well, it's Cathay time. It's definitely Cathay time. All right. We're fully replenished. Let's just push straight towards them and hopefully they'll attack us. I'm confident that we can butter their little cheeks. I'm pretty sure. If it's one thing I know about... If it's one thing I know about China, <laughs> they don't do well with plagues. <laughs> And the tea bag. Okay, let's uh I tell you what, we'll send over a plague of opium. <laughs> and then we can take Shanghai. Cathay is gonna need a catheter. Very good. Haha. -ha. Oh! Oh, are you goddamn kidding me? Leave my undefended settlements alone, you loser! God! Oh my god, he's just sacking. I'm gonna kick him in the sack. I'm gonna kick him in his tiny little coin purse. God! Don't you love the AI? Fair fight? No thank you. I'm gonna attack your undefended tiny settlements. That's fun for the player. Ooh. Passive regeneration? Vile seed is really gross. Um, what do you guys think? For kooks? Passive healing for kooks sounds amazing, right? Because then I can just throw them around. Uh, the obsidian lodestone sucks. I'm going to combine these. Weird plate. <laughs> it's surface alive with coruscating pens, many attacks against the wearer. Of this harness somehow never happened. <laughs> Weird plate is just funny. Weird plate, why not? Board save for him. Feather toe torque also sucks ass. Ogre blade, my favorite kind of blade. Let's go. 10% weapon strength or and a flat 10 armor piercing weapon damage, which kind of sucks. Versus ogre blade. I that's worth it. His armor pan is already huge. 418, 10 on top of 418 is nothing. That's baby crap. This guy doesn't have armor pan though, so he can get it. And boy, can he get it. Uh, all right. Nice. Nice, Kugath with regen is Amazing. And his weird... Imagine Kugath wearing weird armor. I'd combine that too. I really... I know it's such a, a pet peeve, but I truly, truly hate... Um... Play. Uh, what's it called? Uh, the Crown of Command item. You know the Crown of Command item that makes your, your guy or... Or one unit or whatever you cast it on unbreakable for like a turn for, for a turn for like 30 seconds it's so bad it's so unbelievably bad I think the crown of command should should automatically activate 
right before um uh like they break like when the leadership is wavering it should automatically activate like just that's a small change and it makes it way better you know what i mean because then it basically gives them like the kislev whatever thing also it should just make them unbreakable when they, when their stuff gets low. it's only a green tier item though i don't know in its current form it sucks NDA broken? Wait, what happened? What'd I do? Is that a new item that I got or something? Crown of Command is the buy our blood we have at home. Exactly. It's so terrible. I think uh, I can't be the only one who truly hates the Crown of Command. I think I feel like I saw a legend complaining about it once. And I was like so on board. Because I always seem to get the Crown and Command. We were doing a stream a little a while ago, and I got two of them by combining items twice in a row. I'm not going to repair that. All right, let's just kill him. Let's just kill him. Prepare to die. Oh my god, he's running away. Are you kidding me? And I ran. I ran so far away. Pyrrhic victory and I lose all of my infantry and he ran from that? Alright, AI control. Alright, well we're gonna do this fight, I guess. I don't think his firing rockets will be too much of a problem. I could probably plague drone them. Nope, he's got tons of ranged. Um, Cav's not a problem. Cav's nothing. His melee is gonna be better than usual because it's Jiao Ming. Although he has eight character skills. He has his unique stuff, like the AI always, always does. Which I think is kind of stinky. Wait, 8 healing? What's that? Healing per second, 8. Hit points less than 25%. Huh. Interesting. I've never noticed that before. I wish Crown of Command just gave flat leadership buff to units around whoever's wearing it. Yeah, that's a... I mean, it's a crown. Alright. Time to fight. Frickin' Jiao Ming. He's not even the coolest Cathay Lord anymore. Toads on archers. Oh, yeah, 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 we're gonna be doing a lot of that. Well, we attacked him, so my guess is he's just gonna stand there like a little baby. But I'm gonna prep anyway. Yeah, buddy. Alright, slow infantry all together with our nice. Oh, the Chaos War Shrine in the middle of all this is gonna be so good. Just with that AoE heal and leadership buff. Giver of Abundant- wait, Intensity- there's an Intensity bar now? When did they add that? I didn't know that! There's like an actual physical bar in the game now, look at that! Wow! That's cool! I wonder if like, uh, all of the Intensity things have that, like... Uh... Scrag's like... Healing thing? There was always an Intensity bar? No! There was definitely not always an intensity bar. There was definitely not. There's <laughs> like that, I'm for sure that is new. All right, let's keep our frog division together. Oh, soul grinder is going to be so good here. Because that's going to force them to come to us. And it'll just shred their infantry. Keep our infantry thing going. The frog brigade, brigade ready to go. Led by the frog rider. And then our infantry division. We got our hero single entity dukers. Lots of healing. Kugath with the uh, soul grinder is going to be so good. Not, not a bar, just a percentage number. Yeah, 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 I remember that. 
My main comparison is uh, Scrag's Gorger Cauldron, which increases intensity with all of his kills, which provides regen for uh, Gorgers on the map. Is he coming to us? No, he's not. He's camping. That's fine. We can use these trees to eliminate their ranged advantage. And then, I don't know how I'm going to get my ranged around them, the cab. Alright, I'm going to send my frogs over here. Oh my god! Alright, no, 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 that's not going to do at all. That's not going to do at all. That, oh, okay. Let's retreat back out of the range of that thing. That's, I forgot about that that existed completely, uh, entirely. Yikes. Let's get, tell you what. I'm gonna do a little bit of douchebaggery. Frogs in the trees. And target their artillery. Fire rain rocket. Fire rain rocket. Oh, oh shit, 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 shit. That's not gonna go well. And they pops Plague of Rust. Let's get the, them out of there. Alright, wait. Okay, if I bring them down now to melee range, can I jump on them? Yes. Yes, I can. What is this? Can I get my play grid over there? Oh, bre oh my god, imagine a boil in this! Oh, that would be so good! Oh, yeah, their longbow riders are dead. Great Sugma riders. Well, get away from my... Oh, okay, damn it. Uh, fire rain rockets. All right, let's harass him from the back now. Let's pull back here a little bit. Just solo down the long... The Sugma riders. That palanquin is really goddamn slow. Uh, it's fine. If we're in the trees, it's fine. I'm gonna move everybody over, get them ready to come in. Just keep Kugath on those things. Alright, they've got all their peasant spearmen in, that's fine. Kill the Sugma Riders, guys! Alright, I need to get these guys out. My infantry crew. Oh my god! Stop! 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 Jesus, dude. It knows what to target, damn. Oh, yes, exposed. Frogs, go. Frogs. This is what you literally were made for. All right, retreat, retreat, retreat. Get Coog in there for that AOE thing and the buffs. Oh my God, get in there. Go, go, go. Jesus Christ, please. All right, frogs, take him down. Move, 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 move. All right, you attack her. Get around, get around, get around. Frogs into the range. Go, 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 go. Frogs! Yes, frogs, go! Go, my frogs! Beautiful, beautiful, yes! All right, let's just bring the infantry in now. We've neutralized their artillery. That shouldn't be a problem. Infantry can hold that down for a long time. Let's get a breath spill in there. Oh, get Kugath on him. Pull him out. Uh, Alright, that's fine. Nice. They're dead. They're definitely dead. Backed him up with the Fox Rider guys. Hmm. Who's slowly dying? Oh! Oh, that's only on him. Oh, okay. Yikes. Get in there, frogs. Go, go, go. Frog all over them. No, get in. Get in there. Oh, he's, he's in his dragon form. Not exactly going to be a threat. He, this guy needs to get in there, though. 
my anti-large fella. Come on, dude. Look at him just tearing through these archers. Ooh, my frogs are dying a little bit, though. These, these are unacceptable frog-based casualties. I won't have these kind of frog casualties. Oh my god. Color scheme for these guys is pretty fucking crazy. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Look at the Jade Warriors go, wow. Frogs should, in theory, devastate Jade Warriors because they're mostly just... Armored, mediocre infantry with all of the melee defense. Damn, Jamming's doing pretty good. Whatever, just mob him. Oh, that's a breath attack. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. Toad up, Eric. <laughs> Toad up! Thanks for the dono, Chris. Man, I miss the Eric Andre show. Yeah, thank you, dude. Oh, look. I kind of think of a less useful reinforcement reinforcing army than a Nurgle infantry reinforcing army. It, <laughs> like, I don't think I can think of a slower... Uh, reinforcing it, like, it, it, it feels like playing dwarves back in the day Like do you remember when we used to think that dwarves were slow until Nurgle got added God this guy will go down Die 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 Eat his ass! Puke on him! My, my toes to die. How slow would Nurgle Dwarves be? That would be such a hilarious ad. If they added, like, Chaos... N Nurgle Chaos Dwarf Infantry or something like that. Nurgle Chaos Dwarf... Uh, iron... Iron Breakers. <laughs> like, 10 movement range. They just don't have legs. Movement speed. Ah. Oh. Nurgle isn't that bad if you put the battle on fast forward. It's not too bad in general, like... Especially the human Nurgle units. Look at this little baby running away. Easy. Our social credit score is plummeting, but our... Damage dealt as gold value is skyrocketing. All right. He somehow survived. No, he didn't. Never mind. What do you get for defeating him again? Armor for the entire army. That's actually really good for Nurgle. Yeah, like he, of the Nurglings having five armor. Magic item drop chance ten percent. Nice. Rod fly for Snotty. Dope. Flying casters are the best. Nothing like a flying caster. I wish you could get a- somebody should add in a mod where it's just a rot fly for Kugath. <laughs> Did tell me you wouldn't want to see Kugath flying a rot fly. Or 
or maybe his uh, his pelican, but carried by rot flies. This will infect your cell, man. I wish rot flies weren't so garbage at avoiding projectiles. I've maybe they just have a giant hitbox because of their wings or something. Satisfactory outcome. Jeez, chill, Kugath. A most satisfactory outcome is such a reasonable thing to say, but screaming it is insane. Ah, three more turns. Three more turns. And the closest one, Grand and Clean. Yeah, we could probably just keep speed speed running this. Second, that's built. I think tier four. Uh, I, I've had the uh, building cycles explained to me multiple times. I, I want to say tier five. It's like tier uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then it goes, and then it can go around infinitely. I don't think we're getting a, a great unclue on this stream. <laughs> I, I would be shocked. Oh, crap. Are you a fan of gr grindiers? Grindiers? Grindier what? Why did they give Nurgle a stronger economy and then make the buildings cost infections, removing the reason he needed a stronger economy? Because they had a bad economy and also no way to advance the uh, cycles of their buildings. So they have like the economy based uh, on infections and also on money, so there's a reason to get both. Um, also, Nurgle units are inherently very expensive, so he needed a better, a way better economy so that he can sustain uh, being able to recruit units. If you played Nurgle back in the day, it, it was a pain in the ass to, to uh, recruit anything of any value and keep it, uh, have it upkeep, uh, have be able to sustain upkeep. Dissolve their flesh. Grandfather loves us all. Oh. Oh. Damn, a bunch of good stuff. All right, I think we, I'm definitely gonna recruit the 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 sh the, the far shit and far giant. You have to recruit the shit and far giant. It's a must. A Bam. All right. All right. Close to run out of fear. Lightning strike. Such power. Do you think it's a good idea to just if we just pursue Cathay? I kind of want to bump into Gelt. I want to see how Gelt's doing and if, and if Gelt's going to be difficult and if the AI knows how to use his new mechanics. Because he got this thing for recruiting mages. I feel like getting into a fight while he has like seven mages in, in his army, even against the AI, that could be a pain. Like that could be a very difficult fight, which means it's going to be interesting. As opposed to the usual infantry spam and maybe maybe a single unit of artillery. Do not pursue Lubu. Uh, see, now I just want to play fucking 3K. Wait, can we get another? No, damn it. Wait, what about frogs? How's the frog building doing? Can I? All right, one more turn and then we can push the recruitment of frogs. And then I'm going to recruit a bunch of them. I'm actually going to cycle it as fast as I can. I don't quite do it. There was nothing new to the east, uh, south, or north. Well, there's nothing to the south <laughs> at all. There's ocean. Kugath with rot fly wings, just tiny fly wings barely holding him up. Dude, I imagine his fat little body dangling down with just his limbs flopping around, and he has tiny little wings flying around. He becomes a flying unit, but he still has like 20 speed. What the fuck? Who the f Where'd that guy come from? What? 
What? Where did he come from? I Lin Quinn? Only the dragons. With your doofy name? Is he real? Wait, is he beelining for pig botter? No way. Unbelievable. What a douche. Look at that. Look at that cycle. Speed cycle. Speed cycle. Costs us a lot of things, but now we should have frogs for recruitment. All right, I'm just going to sack the rest of these guys. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Three units of frogs. Uh, get rid of all the nerglings. Oh, and some rot flies. Did that give us something for rot flies? Regeneration for rot flies, faction wide. Right, okay, yeah, definitely then. So, that, and then. Uh, I kind of don't want the festering stooges. What do you guys think we should get rid of? Okay, frolicking, blah, 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 because. And then. Rough flies and frogs. Ah, oh, damn it! One more. Uh, we need shit and fard. Chaos war shrine's really useful. Demon spear are really really old. I'll get rid of them. Now you might question getting rid of the <laughs> demon spear for a unit of frogs, but I raise you this. Shut up! Frogs are cool. So many frogs, dude. And right, if we get it one more up, we can get two more units of rot flies. The plague we I don't think there's anything here I want to replace with rot flies, though. They're not particularly good. They're only a tier two. 24 melee defense on a flying unit is criminal. But melee defense plus nine, so that offsets it the second they're in melee, and they have regen now. Rot flies with regen, that makes them way better. That takes them to like tier three at least. Toad Gaming, right? Look at the amount of frogs we have. We absolutely have to start researching frogs also. Wait, three turns for... Uh, Beast of Nurgle, Soul Grinders. I'm gonna switch off into Cav mode. Because then we can buff our Rot Flies. Wait, can we? Yeah, we can buff our Rot Flies and our frogs. The Rot Horde. I really hope this guy doesn't beeline over and take one of my towns. I feel like how much you guys want to bet he just sacks one of my towns like Scrap Towers, which has a ton of economic value, and then just bails. Like a big annoying <laughs> Oh what? No way! Who saw this coming except literally everyone? God damn it, he's too big for that stupid flying horse, too. Ugh. And he sacked it, I told you! Oh, I hate it, dude. This, I hate it. I actually hate it. This is, ah, oh, it's so annoying. Dude, he's gonna delete my frog building too. Oh, I can reach him. Never mind. If he retreats, I'm going to actually scream. My loyalty lies with another. Damn it! Oh. We are waiting. <laughs> Shut up! Oh my god, I don't want to rebuild my fucking building! Oh, that's so annoying. You know what? That's actually a not too bad of a garrison. I don't have the money. Damn it. Um. All right, cancel that one. Demons. 
The only problem with only having access to death and Nurgle magic is I don't have an instant breath spell. You know, I don't get Stream of Corruption out of the gate with these guys. But you do get Spirit Leech, but Spirit Leech isn't that good. Ugh. Architect of rot. 1600? Why are Beasts of Nurgle so expensive? Alright, just one. Which servant shall I It'll make this defense an actual defense somewhat. Plus three for the of frogs, because I guess this gives us a garrison of one rot fly and two plague toads of Nurgle. That's something. Oh, good lord. You do get stream of corruption? F what? No! Let me guess, do I get a garrison? Like like a building area? To oh, I do! It's a siege, right, because it's a capital. Ooh. Alright. Ah, jamming. Okay, well, I can't win this because of jamming, but I'm gonna try. Force march to the bridge. Oh my god, I didn't think of that. Maybe we can kite him. Maybe we can kite him and annoy him with our towers. You get Stream of Corruption instantly on Lords, not on Heroes. Oh, man! Oh, yeah, because I got Aspect of the Dread Knight. Damn it! Oh, he split his stupid army into two stupid... Okay. Alright, how are we going to do this? Alright, um... Alright, we can stagger his Siege progress. Where are, where are my, la my ladder points? One here. All right, 2K, we get the explosive tower. Make sure the towers are hitting right out the gate. What's the fastest infantry unit we got? Nurglings are surprisingly fast, but they can't go on walls. What? I guess because they're not an infantry unit. They're like a weird unit. They're a swarm. Damn it. Oh, that sucks. I guess I'll leave... Plague bearers on the wall? They're gonna get demolished by Onyx Crow Men, though. Yikes. Alright, I'm gonna chill in the middle and just stagger and use towers to defend as good as I can. A Nurgle rework. Oh, but how Jesus. are his towers and lord? Towers? Oh. <laughs> how are his towers, my lord? I'll, I will remember to build towers, I promise. Thank you for the dono, Dr. Logan, PhD. God, a real doctor in my chat. That's crazy. Alright, what's the move here? Using the towers is a good idea, right? That's worth it. They're not particularly great, but they'll do a little bit before they actually get into the center. Frogs in the center. Wait, do these guys have... They do have regen, because it's faction-wide. Cool. That is cool. That might mean my frogs have 25% extra HP, too. But I'll never know. I don't remember what they actually have by base. Alright. What do you guys think? Just chill in the middle, use towers, stagger their approach, block them off however I can, and then... Yeah. Right? Which kind of British citizen does QGF meant to represent? Birmingham, Newcastle, Bletchley? Bletchley? What's Bletchley? Probably Bletchley, whatever that is. I leave any of my other troops? No, good. Ugh. All right. Do 
he doesn't have any artillery. He had to recruit his whole... No, wait, this isn't even the main army. Wait, why does he have Xiao Ming? It was some random dude. Oh, yeah, because his replenishment thing probably came up. Ah. Uh... Nothing like level one arrow towers to do absolutely next to nothing. Actually, you know what? They're doing a little bit. They're tickling. They're tickling him. There it is. I, God damn it, I knew it. Stupid, adorable Onyx Crowman. They're gonna die so quick. God damn it. All right. Target that one unit. F. I don't want to use my rot flies either. Oh man, we're not getting earning a lot. Stupid, violently effective Onyx Chroman. Okay, the fact that they've got so much range is a real problem. Because the second they get in, like they get close, they're just gonna start bombarding all of my crap in the middle with their range, and I think I'm just gonna get picked apart. Because they, this, they have that wonderful thing in this game where you can, that they've had since Shogun, where you can shoot over a structure and you don't need direct line of sight. Which has always been a really fun mechanic. My right, towers are gone, but we can do a little bit of damage, I guess. They're going to be fighting archers. Why not? Stupid crow man. Walls should obscure units standing behind them with line of sight. I think they should just make it so bows need line of sight like guns, but they can fire in an arc so it's slightly better. Like, the fact that they can shoot up and over something with the amount of accuracy that they, the accuracy that they currently can drives me insane. It was really bad in Shogun 2 though, because they had like hyper accurate uh, attacks. That was like actually too much. Oh yes, yes! Ooh. All right, get him. Mob him. Mob him, mob him, mob him. Nice. Nice. Complete they did that. AI's getting brazen. Right, they're screwed. No more Lord of nice. Alright, good, good. I think they're gonna struggle kind of to get line of sight in this. Ah. I might just camp up in the middle. Blobs can be good. I just don't want- they're gonna get here and start shooting at me and shit, which I really don't want. Alright, looks like they're kind of struggling to path. Oh! I guess I'll just mob jumping. Or not. Can I just waste their time and get them all the way down here? God, I'm so, it's nice that ranged units are also way less effective at shooting uh, buildings now. Oh, no, 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 move, 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 move. I do not want to get shot while these crowmen attack me. Go, 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 move, 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 move. Stay away. Stay away, damn it. All right, perfect. They're right in the middle. Perfect. Thank you, Onyx Crowman. Nice, dude. The AI, what is the AI doing? I mean, I'll take it. Thank you. Got good arrow points. 
Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. All right, keep those frogs alive. All right, can I get my caster over here? I get, we're just wasting their time right now. Wait, magic terror. I don't remember what, I remember Nurgle towers used to be very good. Like these ones were very good. Oh my God, they're doing so much damage to me. No, 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 no. That does not seem very good. Oh my God, this cost me 2000. They're gonna rip through it. What the hell? To me, it doesn't make sense that archers can do so much damage to towers at all. God, that accuracy, dude, are you kidding me? Can I distract it? Nice. It's done. That tower is done. Great. Ugh. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, you, what is that accuracy, dude? Come on. What if I just hover above him? All right, yeah, that's cutting them off, kind of. That, what is this tower, dude? Nurgle towers used to be so good. What happened? Oh, there we go. 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 Come on. More of that. More of that. All right, I'm going to ride over here and see if I can push them this way. Yes. Uh, get in there. Rough flies. Go. Alright, slow him down, I guess, or something. Alright, can I... Nope. Will I do anything? Alright, can I... Alright. Alright, 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 all right. okay, 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 go. The frog's down on the front, the front line. Mulch, stop mulching these jade warriors. Nice, tear through their uh, range units while this... Oh, the tower sucks so bad, dude, what?! How is it so inaccurate? It's so deeply inaccurate in the worst way. Alright, we gotta get it. Oh, okay, I don't know if that's worth doing. Yeah, it's worth it. Screw it. Nice, nice. These archers are almost done. All right, move, 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 move. Get in the air, get in the air. Fuck you, fuck you melee units. Fuck you melee units. Get fucked. Can't hit shit. Now run away. Eh, this is working. Okay, this side's going great. Cause they've just, they've just got a couple of lonely melee units. Oh, there, archers are coming back. Run, 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 run. What are these noises, dude? Sounds like aliens in a kid's show. Oh, shit, 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 shit. No! Don't you breath attack my fucking frogs! Wait. Oh, did I build that tower and then they capped? No way, that's the cap point for that. That sucks. All right, I gotta get my lord away. I gotta get my lord away. He's gonna die. Run, 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 run. Dude, please run. Please run. Just run. No, not into him. Away from him, please. Would be cool. Frogs, frogs, frogs. Nice, nice. All right, the ranged are done. Oh, they're just walking through my town, capping everything. All right, block them off. All right, get their archers. Get these guys over here. Stop running infantry interference. Just spam spirit leech on the jamming. Oh man. Oh, wait, are there any good towers? Place more towers. I'm. Most of these locations are, get, are get just getting capped, so wherever I place a tower is just gonna fall down. Best thing I think I can think to do is put down barricades and shit. Where I, except for the places that I don't want them. Except for where I want them to go. To just force them to go in a certain direction. Uh, 
Okay, well, they're definitely gonna cap this. F, dude. Okay, maybe I can keep them off it. Ah, oh, you big dragon piece of crap. Alright, oh, actually, I'm gonna focus my toads on the Jade Warriors because they seem to be doing a good job of that. No, leave my tower alone. Go, 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 go. Nope. No, thank you. Alright, Toad Dragon's on the archers. Alright, Rough Lights. Dude, Rough Lights seem to just tear shit. Flying armor piercing, they're actually kind of tanky. Way better than I thought. Alright, Spirit Leash him down. I just, hold on, I need to start spending this money. I'm just gonna build shit. Can you like highlight building plots? I. Uh, something. I think that's everything. I don't think I can build anything else. They're never gonna get through that. I could build something here, but they're about to cap it, so it's pointless. And I can't seem to. Oh, I'm fighting it! Alright, I gotta get my archers down there. The guys in the towers keep coughing, ruining their aim. <laughs> True. I think these rough flies are gonna like hard carry. We're doing okay. Balance of power is not completely out of our favor. Oops. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. No, that was an accident. Crap. Alright, looks like we're keeping a cap on that, on this. I cancel this then? No, I can't. Really? It's not built yet. Can I not cancel it? Buildings cannot be depl- Oh, whatever. Stop ruining my shit! Alright, they're not coming back. They gotta be shattered now. Shattered. Good. Alright, shit. I gotta get these guys out. Ah! No, don't get shot! Ah! Don't get shot. They're so valuable. Oh god, my, my whole rig's chugging. Run. Run. No, they're crumbling. No, they're crumbling. No, no. Alright, J-Warriors are wavering, but they still haven't broken. Damn, dude. Retreat, 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 retreat. All right, good. Jade warriors are wavering. All right, I'll just I'll draw them in. I'll leave those guys to replenish for a little bit. Kill these guys with the toads. Oh man, I need the money back from that fucking tower. Damn it! I shouldn't have built this. It was a mistake. All right, they should be dead. Is going okay. Another spirit leech. Yes, mob him, mob him, mob him. Frogs, mob him. Everybody mob him. This should be a win, right? Now. Oh, wow. Ah, uh, eat a bag of dicks. Oh man, the Jade Warriors are so tanky too. Get him! Come on. Nice, nice. Throw in here. Minus fifteen percent melee attack. Good. their archers here. Oh, crap. They broke through the... How? What? No way. 
This is close, dude. I think we're pulling ahead, but this is close. Dodge, 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 dodge. Dodge, duck, dip, dodge, and dodge. Die! Get him, get him, get him. Go, 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 go. Yes! Uh. All right, he's good. What? No, what the fuck? Because of his stupid fucking braces? Oh my god! I'm fucked. God damn it, that was close too. Son of a bitch, dude. You asshole game. How is that fun? Fuck, man. I hate healing effects that give just put them back up to full health arbitrarily. It's the worst. That was so close. Oh man, that sucks. Also, those towers are terrible, dude. So slow and inaccurate. Oh no, they got cav now. Oh my sh crap, oh my crap's breaking. Run, frogs, run. No, whatever, just fight. Oh man, I might as well get my caster in there. They're breaking in the middle here. Frogs are breaking. Damn it. God. Oh. Oh man. That sucks. I swear, if this unit of Jade Warriors successfully caps this and destroys the towers, I'm going to, like, just, just shoot myself. <laughs> just shoot me right now. Alright, I need to pop this on him when he starts breaking. Maybe they can duke him down. Maybe we'll get lucky. You know? Oh, please. Please. Oh, that's something. Come on. They're actually kind of doing well. There. Please. No, 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 no. This fucks me. Yes, get... Do oh, like, dude, it's like a, the opposite of a watch kettle or whatever the, that expression is. Damn it. A watch pot or whatever. Alright. Go alright, get in there. Get in there. Duke it out, duke it out, kill him, kill him, beat him up. Come on, plague bears. Do your job! Do your one job! Oh no, no 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 no. Hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them, hit them. Oh, they're actually ca- this is unbelievably close. This is so disgustingly close. <laughs> what a fight. I think I'm just gonna edge out a loss, but damn. I can't believe how un un inaccurate those towers are. They're borderline useless. Thank fuck for regen, but they- I think they need to nerf regen. Anybody else feel like that? The regen and regen items need to be nerfed just a smidge? They're getting a little ridiculous. Like this dude, I know it's like a unique item or whatever, but holy crap. They over nerf the towers. Yeah, these things suck ass now. Look at that, dude. <laughs> what? It's a team cost me 2,000 resources. It's crazy. Go, 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 go. All right, wait, 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 do I fight the Jade Warriors or do I fight the, uh... Do I just get on Zhao Ming? Zhao Ming, right? No, shit, he's terrified. Damn it. No, we were so close. Maybe I save and get the fecundity. Can I break these guys? The confident damage sustained. Oh, that could do it. Nice, they're being pushed. No, come on. Fight him. Fight him. Fight him. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, this is so close. 
Oh my god, this is so close. No, the big bears are breaking. No, the cha cap charge. No, 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 no. No, he's got too much health. 1600 health still. No. God. Ah. Oh. What are those towers, man? That sucks. God damn it, dude. No, 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 no. Okay, kite, kite. It's not too late. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was so cool. Look how much damage we did, too. He was basically dead. 3,600 value. If it wasn't for his heal, he would have been done. That would have been a victory. Oh. Oh, sevens, boys. They tried. Our frogs tried to hold. If you just didn't waste the army ability before getting regen just once. Yeah, I fucked up using that slow ability like 3,000 times. Oh, you... Ugly, ugly man with your stupid fucking eyebrows. Okay, attack to protect against surprise attacks like this that I got from Legend is to not use regiments of renown in any army. Instead, keep them in reserve to quickly raise an army and defend with. Yeah, I know, but it's so tempting when you get them in your recruitment pool. Oh, he didn't delete it. He just, you know. It's just damage. It'll take a single turn. 3,000 gold. You better give me 3,000 gold in this fight right now, Jamming. You tiny little... Oh, you little rat man. All right. I need some therapeutic murder. I need to just watch them all die. Would that be ridiculous if I played this? To watch them die? Adokoi, do you stream on Twitch? I actually tried to stream this on Twitch today. And I couldn't get it to work. It just didn't work. So I, I was trying to stream today on Twitch. And it's not functioning. It's like broken. I need to figure out why it's not working. But maybe next time. All right, I'm going to I'm going to murder this guy. I want to see this man bombed to death. I hate him. No mercy, no respite. I'm going to wrestle him into submission with his eyebrows. Erm, do you stream on a shitty platform with ads every 30 seconds? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the chat is a lot better on Twitch, though. Like, the amount, the emotes that you can use. There's, like, shared emotes across the entire platform. Like, there is good things about Twitch, but on a whole, I don't like the way that they do their ads. Yeah, so that's the main reason I haven't, I haven't streamed there. But uh, just giving people the option. I'm not going to turn down more viewers. You know? That'd be silly. Alright, I don't think this matters all that much. You literally can't do anything. Alright. Look at his stupid outfit. Wait, where's his cape? Didn't he? Doesn't he normally have a cape? Oh, did you get diarrhea on, Xiao Ming? Oh man, doesn't that suck? Doesn't that suck for you? Oh, this is doing like nothing to him. He also has regen, so they're actually <laughs> they're other not damn. They can't even out damage his fucking regen. Alright, I'm just gonna kill them with the frog tide. Alright, let's push it up. I'm gonna run over this fool. Get absolutely diarrhea on you fools! Die! Ow. Oh look, you did a little funny dance? Oh, I like your funny dance! Look at your little funny Twitch dance! 
Aren't you funny? Where'd he go? Oh, oh, it's a... What is this mechanic? What the fuck? Fuck you, Xiao Ming! Stupid bitch! God damn it, dude! I'm gonna gather around and watch him. We're gonna watch you die, you big stinky man. Wait, why is there a plague thing over here? Oh. How fast is this thing? Yeah, soul grinders are really good. They are actually really, really strong. Alright. Get him! Yes. Oh wait, is this the? F All right, I'm gonna. F I'm literally gonna shit on him. All right, here we go. Nice, nice. Get shit on, idiot. Get shit on, idiot. Hey, idiot. Slow down, idiot. He's dead! Take that for social credit score, bitch! Alright, okay, sorry, that was that was a therapy session. Yeah, that's <laughs> no, just my private therapy session. Oh man. He still got three three forty value. Settlement sacked. Oh. Yeah, very cool. I'll just I'll just pay I actually got a good amount of money for that. <laughs> I can afford to repair it now. That's something. Oh boy. I mean that's really annoying that they I guess he pathed from Han Yu Port up through the mall gate all the way through Grisus' territory to get to us. So how does Grisus feel about him? Uh not great. Apparently, they, do the AI get trespassing penalties with other AI factions? Can you recruit bio trolls? No, I can't recruit any of the new units at all. I wish I could. I can't. I simply can't. Ooh, how, how's our... One more turn and we can get another soul grinder? Can I rush that for... Bitty. Yeah. We should, I think, be able to get another soul grindy. Nope. Apparently not. Is that how that works? Did I just reset that for no reason? Did that bug out? Why didn't I get... I thought if, if it reset on the... Did I just pay 50 for nothing? Is that what just happened to me? I don't call it. Your game looks so crisp. What's doing though? Wait, what the hell? Hello? Hello? Are we back? What just happened? What? Are we back? <laughs> what? Are we back? Can you guys hear me now? What in the fuck? I 
Did the, did Nurgle just take over my the, over the stream for a second? Maybe I hit a fucking oh yeah the screen was green for a second there. Did my graphics card just like die for a minute? What was that? Is it green right now? It is green. What the hell? Hold on. How about now? Better? Is this just stream just gonna end with me? <laughs> what is this? Oh wait. Okay, it's saying it's inner. The the stream is interlaced. Boys, is it all green right now? What the actual fuck? I don't even know what to do. Um, hmm. I do. <laughs> Apparently, we've been plagued. We're done. We've been greened. This is an episode of Goosebumps. Apparently. What now? No, no, it's gray. What is that? What is happening? I'm like looking at the stream right now, like the your guys's visuals, and it's like. What if I? I'm gonna exit the game. Maybe that'll help. Nope. Nope. It's still weird. Warning, the current video is interlaced, but interlaced video is not supported. What the fuck does that mean? If I restart the streaming software, I think it'll end the stream. Oh, god damn it. My cat's not gonna shut off my desk. I'll try it, but... All right, 07s boys. I'll try restart my Streamlabs, but it's probably gonna end the stream. So <laughs> that this is gonna be the most Nurgle ending to a stream ever. <laughs> I'll do. I'll be back with like Manor Lords or. Uh... Anyway, actually, while I have you guys here, is there any are there any of the other lords that have been changed by this most recent DLC that aren't actually the three new lords that you guys would want to see, like played? Or I could just start the uh, Dragon's Dogma 2 stream, like, next time. I don't know. Apparently we got swallowed by Kugath this time. Franz and Gel? I've seen people play both, though. Thoric. Dwarves. Apparently the dwarves are, like, mad OP now. Dude, the screen is crazy. It's just, gr it's like flickering gray and green right now. Yeah, it's saying the video is interlaced. Whatever the hell that means. All right, weird. Weirdest end to a stream ever. I don't know why this is happening. I hopefully know there's nobody with epilepsy in the fucking chat right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wow. I don't quite, I just wanted to know why your game looks so nice. Apparently me showing you that killed everything, so Alright, anyway, I'm gonna try and reset the stream boys, the stream labs, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. Uh and this will end the stream when I close it. So I'll uh probably see you guys on the next stream. But yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh sevens boys.